Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Mohi Talk, the worst podcast on the internet. Today I'm having a special guest, Virtual Experiences. Uh, well, just like Shitpost Bot and, and Bootleg Stuff, it's another epic, ironic, modern meme, shitposting Facebook page that I've been following for, well, about three years now. And um, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. This way I don't say anything dumb and I don't forget anything relevant. Please introduce yourself, man. Thank you. Um, I'm John. I'm 24. I'm from the, the UK. I'm currently a final year student and I like memes. Nice. Uh, what are you studying? Uh, I study sports science at Manchester Met University. Nice. Sports science, like nutrition for athletes and uh, all that. Yeah, so like, it, the, the course includes like exercise testing using like, machines that record uh, like physiological data and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's quite, it's quite cool. Oh, yeah, the, the quantified self. <laughs> it's it's not it's not that deep yet. Okay. But I mean, if if I can like continue on to do a master's, then I could do that. But I don't want to stay in education for uh, any longer. Okay. Are you planning to have a profession like that is related to these studies, or is it just something like meanwhile when you still don't know what you want to do later? Um, I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I I haven't really thought about it yet, to be honest. Okay. Do you have like a, a dream or a, a goal or something like that? Yeah, so, well, I'm actually speaking to a few companies about doing an internship in either USA or Japan teaching uh, skiing and snowboarding. Uh, but I mean, it's all in the air at the moment. I haven't, I haven't secured anything, but I think that's probably what I'm going to try and uh, go towards. Cool. I admire you. I admire you very much because personally I hate snow, so I, I absolutely couldn't do what you're planning to do. But uh... <laughs> it's fun, man. Like there's just a lot of anime in Japan. Okay. Which, if if you follow the page, yeah, you you, you probably know that there's a lot of anime hate memes. Yeah. It's not that I hate anime. I just love to hate anime. Mm, yeah, it's kind of same for me because. Um... I don't really know anything about anime, but it's fun to say that I hate anime. I mean, I've watched a few episodes of Naruto and uh, other more obscure stuff. And yeah, the aesthetics. Usually I hate the aesthetics and, and all that shit. So uh, I just say that yeah, I, I hate anime. And it's, it's fun because it gets a lot of people riled up. And this yeah, is... If um, if you've seen my group important posting, you'll see like how how toxic and it is. And there's a lot of people who post, you know, like the pictures of someone holding a sign saying like, "If your picture is anime, your opinion doesn't count." Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get, we get loads of shit like that, which is pretty funny. Yeah, that's a classic. So uh, when you we had a preliminary discussion, you told me that you wanted to talk about memes and that you had a lot to say about memes when you want to start uh, with that you yeah so yeah let go i'm seeing i don't know like when when i look back to the state of like the internet uh, renaissance like two or three years ago when i made yeah. the page yeah i found that was a lot of like cool vaporwave pa like pages like cool like art themed pages like uh, LSD, meme emulator, internet by night, redemptorist. Yeah. And like, I now, like, I compare the state of the internet now, like on Facebook, especially, like, and there's just shit pages that that repost like screen caps from videos that were trending like five or six years ago. Yeah. And the, these pages somehow gain a huge following, mm -hmm. and like the actual, I feel like the actual like cool cool pages just don't aren't around anymore well there has been a lot of pages that have been uh, deleted by by facebook for the reasons that that we all know uh, which is uh, crazy moderation with obscure rules and uh, no liability for for facebook moderators and uh, all that shit that has plagued facebook for many years now 
So um, I guess maybe the people who are more passionate about um, posting and sharing memes and shit like that online kind of got like discouraged and disheartened by this, you know, I, d I don't want to say witch hunt, but uh, this, uh, you know, hard uh, police that uh, Facebook has become. Yeah, yeah, it's it's bad. It's hard on on Facebook, and uh, there's another yeah. there's um, another thing is that the um, the audience that you garner on Facebook is um, it doesn't translate to the outside of Facebook. You know, I see a lot of YouTubers who have uh, a huge following on YouTube, and they also have lots of followers on. Twitter and, and Facebook and what say you but people who have a lot of fans on Facebook it doesn't export to other websites so it's kind of a it's kind of a weird autarcy and that also can be disheartening for people who are trying to like build a, a, a brand or something like that or a, you know do something long term with the meme curation or, or creation or you know Yeah. So I think that's uh, two. These two things um, are probably the reason why uh, there are a lot, um, a lot of uh, memes recently. Um, I'm thinking about Instagram. Instagram is becoming huge for memes. It was already big, and now it's even bigger. Uh, Tumblr recently. Uh, Tumblr has always been a great place for memes and shit posting. It's how, it's where I learned uh, what shit posting was and how to do it and how fun and and great it was. Um, really. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's the same for me. Like I I I find Tumblr is a gold mine for shit posting. Yeah, and it's really quality images. It's really where uh, I learned I learned memes on 4chan and shitposting on Tumblr, and these two websites yeah. have been huge I mean, for, for me. 4chan, like 4chan was cool. Like I was I was browsing 4chan like when, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. Like when it was funny, like when you had all the, you know, the Chad Thundercock threads and people posting pictures of spiders saying like, "What dog is this?" Yeah. And like now, now it's just full of shit like decorate threads or like posting posting nudes of barely legal girls like it's just a bit weird for our channel now yeah it's a it's a bit weird um but i don't think it has changed this much though because uh, i regularly go back then and i think what i think we have changed because one thing about 4chan that a lot of people don't realize is that to enjoy it you have to put in the hours and uh, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. it's it has always been a lot of shit and some gems Uh, within that pile of shit, and I, <laughs> when we were younger, it was not a problem for 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 us to stay all night on 4chan, like refreshing and watching thread after thread. Uh, but now we are used to to um, sites that go faster than this. You know, when we go on on Facebook, on Tumblr, on Twitter, we can or or, or even worse. I mean, worse uh, in uh, quotes, but Reddit, uh, we can go to the good shit right away. There's no waiting. There's no. We don't have to scour. We don't have to sift through the decay. You know, so uh, that's the difference with 4chan, I guess. 4chan, you have to uh, to put your um, your sleeves up and, and uh, be, <laughs> yeah, be ready to uh, to to go through through the shit. And uh, I guess when we were younger, we had like more patience because when you're young, you think you have the life in front of you and you you don't give a shit about wasting hours on a website. If uh, even if you it will be like 55 minutes of shit for five minutes of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's the main difference. But I th I don't think 4chan has changed uh, that much. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I find because I'm putting a lot more effort now into running all of the pages like on on my Facebook. I don't really I don't really browse 4chan that much anymore. I've got a few like a few other pages other than virtual which which like require a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Um like I've got my groups as well. And so like I don't know, I see I see like moderating and running my groups. What like I feel like once I've done that like I kind of 
I'm a bit like a bit exhausted, like a bit tired from looking at the, you know, the memes and stuff and dealing with people. I don't really, the last thing I want to do is go on 4chan now. Yeah. 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 Groups on Facebook are kind of soul crushing. I, yeah. They're exhausting and they're really time consuming. That's what I don't, I, yeah, so I don't do groups like, anymore. I, I've got like, I've got the important images, which that page has grown fast somehow and then i've got the the group important posting attached to it and it's like the the problem the problem with it is the fact the more they grow the less wholesome it becomes yeah the, you get a lot of a lot of shit posters uh trollers and like and the problem with group is you've you've got your personal profile attached to it as well yeah so like as, as soon as you say like any any shit like this that's going to trigger someone in the group yeah you, you get ad after ad after ad and i i think it's i kind of made the mistake of of using my main facebook and attaching it to uh, groups yeah and I, stuff i did that too at first it was a fucking mistake yeah and the the problem like e facebook's facebook's posting poly, like, like posting like they they ban you for stupid stupid shit yeah and like I think I had four months and I spent three months of, of that post block for four weeks. And like, I've like, I find that Facebook's, um, like automatic banning system is, is so stupid. Like I've, I've seen, I've seen, fr I've got, fr um, two friends who run, you know, deep web treasures, the, the, like the shit posting group that just changes his name, like every 12 hours mm -hmm. and they get retards posting like Pete, like, you know, pedophile, like content. And so, like they ban them and then they they post they post their profile on facebook saying like oh this guy said this in our group like mm -hmm. um you know like he's you know saying like child loving shit uh -huh. and then facebook banned the people who released his profile instead of banning the pedophile it's and always like that it's fucked yeah like, it's so bad it's so bad i kind of see facebook now as the hub of you know big pages like fresh like fresh new memes and shit but the the banning system it, it's just so bad and i'd like to see it like go to somewhere else like tumblr or but i just i can't see it shifting yeah yeah i i have exactly the same opinion as you and i've been thinking about this for a long time now and i, and I wish it, it would move a bit more but people on the internet have so much inertia sometimes i mean uh it's, yeah. it's especially on facebook it's weird but people don't want to leave facebook uh, i'm not sure why but um there's a lot of rumors and and um prejudice around especially tumblr uh, because uh, a lot of people are under the impression that it's a sjw haven which it fucking isn't i mean there are a bunch of SJWs on, on Tumblr, but what a lot of people don't realize is that these people are a big circle jerk. They live in an echo chamber. They they, <laughs> they just follow each other. You won't uh, you won't stumble upon one on Tumblr unless you are looking for it. You know, it's yeah, and uh, that... and it's sad because people think that Tumblr equals SJW, and it's it's so sad because it's like less probably less than one percent of the users. I mean, Tumblr is mostly porn, uh, and <laughs> yeah. and puppies, and uh, wow! To find a political post on there, you you it's it's not you know it's like once in a while, and uh, people won't go yeah. harassing you because you said something uh, unless you said it uh, to their to their faces, and even then, I mean, and Tumblr is so great for um for memes and shit posting, but. It's fair to say that um, it's not as good as Facebook for um, building a community. Facebook is crazy good to build a community because of yeah. how the commenting works. And there is no other site that is as good as, as this for like just conversation. It's built for that. It's, it's crazy good as uh, connecting people. And there's no other website that does this. I, f I find it. I find it somewhat ironic how they say that they want to bring the world together, yet they'll ban people uh, for shit that doesn't need banning, and then not let them speak to anyone. 
for four weeks for some stupid shit. Yeah, that is. Yeah, they want to say, they want to bring people together. I mean, it's it's really dumb, especially since the rules are so obscure and most of the time you don't understand why you are banned, what you did wrong. I mean, some stuff is kind of obvious, but most of the time it's like, oh yeah, you did a bad thing, but what thing? And uh, oh yeah, 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 we're lucky yeah. your way uh, for uh, for a while. <laughs> you you try and you try and like open the apps on your phone, and you've been logged out of everything. Yeah, like yeah. page manager, messenger, Facebook. Yeah, that's really. You, you you log in, and it says you've been post blocked. Yeah, and then it doesn't give you any reason why. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. Uh, and the rules are changing all the time. I remember at some point. If you posted a picture uh, of a face, any face, with the Snapchat dog filter, you got automatically banned. What? It happened to me once. It's happened to a lot of uh, other pages. It was, uh, I don't re remember exactly, but I think it was uh, early 2016. Uh, maybe late 2015, somewhere around this era. And uh, yeah, I, I saw a, a picture of some old dude... Uh, with the Snapchat dog filter on, I don't know, Reddit or who kicked the shit. And so I thought it was funny and I posted it on my page. Bam! Post blocked. Jesus. <laughs> There has been yeah. a... Yeah. There's it's bad, a... isn't it? It's, it's, so, it's so annoying. Like, it's, it's actually so annoying because it, it's not only that, it's like, I, I can't, I can't run my pages, obviously, I can't post. And I've tried, I've, you, you try to make a new Facebook when you post blocked and they instantly know who you are and instantly ban it. Yeah, um, a lot of times it happens. You can't you can't speak to your family, you can't speak to your friends. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's, it's really dumb. I don't I never understand why why they are so repressive. I mean, it, it there's not even a warning or something. It could start by like a warning or like just removing the post that you posted, but no, it's the first first strike You're already in in uh, internet jail. That's yeah, it's daft. Like so, uh... Uh, there's a there's a group. This group's called Facebook Power Admins, and they the groups are moderated by Facebook employees. Uh -huh. And they, there's like American one, a UK one. Like I joined, I joined the British one, and a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, I've been post blocked by your automatic um, like banning system." Uh, And people have suggested ways, like, when you're scheduling posts, like, maybe have, like, a flagging system that will potentially flag, like, uh, a damaging image that could, like, get your post plot so that you could delete it before it's even posted. That's good. And Facebook, the, the admins, they don't seem to take any interest in, um, you know, taking on these suggestions. And they, they'll just keep responding to complaints for people getting banned, but they won't actually do anything to make it better yeah yeah it's it's really it's really really weird and the the the, the weirdest about this situation is that on instagram you have much much more freedom despite the fact that instagram has been owned by facebook for like six years now but um yeah in instagram is much more uh free you, you you can say you can say uh faggot on instagram you can uh say nigger you can say a lot of uh you, you can post a lot of Jesus. really you can post a really distasteful jokes on instagram and uh the only thing that will get you banned from there is porn but uh, yeah it's understandable even, though really even then You don't uh, get post blocked. Uh, it happened to me once on uh, on Instagram. I, I had posted a picture. Uh, it was some meme, and there was a a girl with her her tits showing, and uh, the the image was removed, and I got a warning, which is cool. Like I get it, but there I, there was no post block or any shit like that. I can get behind a, a system like that. Yeah, I mean that that's that that like that sounds better. I mean. The problem, a problem that I've found with getting all these post blocks is I'm scared to post shit that I, I know people will like. Yeah. Like, I know I'm scared to post stuff that I know people will love it. People will share it. They'll like it. Uh, that it'll get a high post reach. 
I'm scared to post it because I feel like it'll get banned, even though it's within the guidelines. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like they they some Facebook ventures out of the guidelines and still and and still bans you. So yeah, it's da it's damaging towards pages and and groups. Yeah, yeah, but because there are two sets of guidelines, there's there's a public one and there's a a, a shadow one that is known only by the moderators apparently, uh, and it's like twenty three pages long. Newspapers. I've I've talked yeah, I mean, I've talked about it recently. Who who wants to read twenty three pages of shit? Oh, I I sure don't. But yeah, that's why I, I created accounts elsewhere, and um, I'm I'm posting that shit on 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 Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram, and uh, I've never had a single problem in any of those uh, networks in ten years. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a good idea. It's it's definitely like good to venture off Facebook because I feel yeah. like it's just heavily, heavily like regulated Facebook now. Uh, it's less, it's less bad now. It was really, really bad in 2015, 2016. Now it's kind of, it's it's less, uh, it's less bad. I feel. Yeah. Well. I, yeah. I mean, I think my last post block was February for a month. Um. Oh, I don't know. I I found like in 2015 and 16, like that that for me was when my page was was like getting its its growth. Like I was posting um like vaporwave and you yeah. know like pic pixel art and shit like yeah. that. And like that, I mean that that's probably not stuff that'll get you banned. But I mean now. I feel a bit like Vaporwave and, and Pixel Art sadly died fucking harder than Harambe. Um, <laughs> so I have to I have to post shit like you know O C D triggers and 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 just weird shit and it, it's more like it, it's more suit like suited towards me getting post blocked sadly because Vaporwave died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's certain. But um, <clears throat> on the other hand, uh, because of this. It has kind of, I don't want to say sanitized, but it has enabled, uh, it has enabled the growth of, you know, absurd memes and s some sh shit that is really nonsensical and, and like the, the rebirth of deadism. I think it's partially because of that because when you say when you I, I remember my first post block on facebook it was in 2015 and uh, it was i posted um, a painting of a slave ship and the cap and the caption was how to pick up black girls fucking hell <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can probably I can probably see why you got a bit bad yeah there, no yeah, this this, this one was understandable it was maybe a bit harsh because uh, in their um, in their guidelines uh, it said at the time that uh, if it was a joke you could post it even if it uh, if it had um, you know racism uh, is a band except if it's satire or humor you know and uh, apparently they don't they they never really respected their own guidelines but uh, yeah that was the first time um i got the first time i got i got blocked on on on, yeah. on there's facebook a, there's, there's actually there's a lot of people who um in important posting who post a lot of racist shit yeah and the the problem like i i don't find that problematic it's i find that's the person's racism is manifested so bad that it's all that they can see humor in. So yeah, you, you get you, you can get a lot of people that are pretty funny, and they won't pull the racism shit. But then I get people who you know, like I I'll post in the group saying, "Oh, um, they, like I'm seeing a lot of these posts. Stop it, or I'll ban you." And then you get people saying, like, you know, get people saying that, "Oh, but." You have all these racist people in the in the group, and they need banning. And like <laughs> that, that's not the problem. It's just I find that the only the only way that someone can try and be funny in my group is by being racist. And and that that's what I find annoying. Yeah, that's the thing in in groups. But groups have always been shit, and it's getting worse and worse. Like <laughs> shit, yeah, that's true. They they're so they're so fucked. Groups. But yeah, what I meant to say is it's just a theory, but uh, because of these really harsh rules uh, on Facebook 
about everything that is lowbrow humor. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons of the emergence of absurd humor and the reason why it's so popular right now. Because at first, yeah. you know, you had the division between, you know, the cool memers and the, the normies. And uh, the the normies, you know, they post this uh, minion shit with uh, <laughs> relatable quotes and uh, really uh, stuff that for, for, for grandmas and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of really dumb but vanilla stuff. And um, so in reaction to that, uh, the cool memers, uh, a lot of them, a lot of which came from 4chan, posted a lot of, you know, outrageous stuff like like gore and racism and homophobia, you know, these kind of these kind of jokes. And it's fine, but these posts automatically, I mean, they're easier to grasp, so they automatically gain more likes than everything else. Yeah. And because of Facebook rules, these kind of posts have uh, like kind of disappeared in favor to uh deep fried shit and completely nonsensical absurd memes like the E meme recently with uh, yeah. Lord I'd, Markiplier I'd, Farquad. And I I'd, think I think that's a good thing because before in the past a really absurd, weird shit Dadaist memes got overlooked in favor of edgy memes, and uh, yeah. now that uh, people um, are seeing them more, they get they are getting appreciated more. And I always thought that these deep fried, nonsensical, absurd memes were underrated, and now they're getting not so underrated. Yeah, definitely. I I I don't know. I I feel like i can't keep up with meme trends now like because every everyone everyone that i know that didn't like memes two years ago likes memes now and like this this fucking e-meme like, i don't i don't know what the hell it is uh i mean I, I know people find it funny personally myself like i don't understand it um so but i mean yeah it's it's pretty funny uh like I like at, at the moment, you know the uh, Avengers meme, like with the I don't feel too good with the the guy disappearing. Yeah, yeah, like that. I think I think that's pretty funny. I saw I saw a page uh, posted a picture of Toys R Us with that effect on, <laughs> and, and it was it yeah. was pretty funny. I made one with Harambe, like, which is going to tr- trigger people yes, because I saw that's it. not normy normy content. Like, but I mean, it's pretty funny. Like the meme, yeah, the memes now. I I, I feel. Like from my from my groups, I think the groups is what I'm putting most of my effort into now. And like people, people, I don't know. They they find the edginess isn't necessarily as funny as like you know like wholesome, wholesome memes, if you know what I mean. Absolutely, yeah. Like like edginess is like you know like your mum gay that that kind of shit. Um, I'm not sure if that's really edgy or kind of. You know, on the absurd side, I like your mom gay. I've I've used it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you've got nothing else to say to someone, yeah, saying your mom gay is is a good way to end. Yeah, no, what I hate is those uh, fucking uh, edgy SpongeBob memes. A lot of time when you see a SpongeBob reference, it's some really cringy, edgy, thirteen-year-old bullshit. Like, you know, yeah. you know the 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 kids. The the kind who eat tight pods and say yeet and yeet yeet <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really some cringy middle school shit and yeah, um, yeah a, a, for some reason a lot of time like most of the time there's SpongeBob somehow attached to it and yeah I think SpongeBob is to uh, like uh, edgy middle schoolers what mini uh. what minions are to uh, Baby boomer uh, moms and and, and yeah, grandmas like babies machines yeah yeah it's... but I mean I mean if someone if someone posts a SpongeBob meme uh, like it it makes it or like it's a children's show so like it is pretty obvious that if they're posting a SpongeBob meme that they're they're, they're a child yeah and I think uh, it's kind of a trend that has existed for a long time to take some kind some uh, like 
um, pure and innocent icon and to like pervert it. Like they take SpongeBob and they make him say horrible things. It's exactly the same shit as someone like Banksy, who has the emotional intelligence of a 14 year old, uh, using like a Mickey Mouse and, and uh, making, making him say uh, like some nasty shit. <laughs> yeah it's not it's not a new thing like it has existed this kind of weird uh humor like to uh like this dysphonia like they, they take a innocent character and they make me they make him say oh uh, uh damn it's a good day to kill niggers today or or you know whatever uh li- Shit, li- yeah. whatever little kids like to say and um yeah it's but for some reason spongebob is like their icon uh, yeah, I've 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 seen it. Like it's it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially on Reddit, there's a lot of that shit on Reddit. I I personally I've never been on Reddit. Okay. Like, I I find I, I find Reddit is uh I mean people can go there is cool, but I I find that there's heavily opinionated people on Reddit, and they're the type of people that I don't really want to speak to. Well, there's like, a... especially over the internet as well. Well, it, it's yeah. Uh, there's a lot of communities on on Reddit that are kind of shielded from each other. Like each subreddit is by definition self-contained, so um, it's kind of easy to avoid uh, these communities. Not as easy as on Tumblr, but easier than on Facebook. So um, I, I think. I think the one good thing Reddit have done is they've, if I'm correct, they removed all of like you know the gun posting subreddits and stuff because of all the the gun violence that's happening in America. I think they they removed mm. like all the the gun you know the, the subreddits where you can post about guns and shit in it. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's uh, YouTube that removed oh, was, the, was that YouTube? the gun channels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but still, man, like. That they needed removing, really? Uh, I don't think so. I'm. I think it's. Uh, well, it depends because some of them, like, was like tutorials to uh, modify your weapons in like illegal ways and to create like some weird shit in your backyard. So these yeah. these probably needed removal, but others were just like people who like guns and who like yeah, about this gun, and uh, then he goes in his backyard and he tries it on some. Uh, you know, uh, uh, um, I think there was wooden targets. One, one channel called Demolition Ranch, I think. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, he like he was a cool gun channel. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, he'd shoot through like like fucking a thousand sheets of paper with a fifty cal and stuff. Yeah, that sounds funny. I'm not I'm not American, so I probably I don't really have a position to say anything about it. But I think I feel like that YouTube do, like removing that was somewhat good idea okay well i'm a very i'm very strongly uh in favor of like freedom of speech so uh i i'm against it i'm against uh like yeah. the, the removal of a whole category of people like removing one specific channel that did a really bad thing okay but removing old gun channels i think that's um how do you say it probably a case of um you know that 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 SJW bullshit that they do. Uh, yeah. F- virtue signaling. It was probably a, because I don't think that the the HQ at YouTube gives any shit about what's happening on YouTube, and when you see them talk like uh, Suzanne whatever and a lot of her minions, they don't seem to understand at all what YouTube is, what kind of videos they are, how people use it, why people enjoy it. They they don't they don't get it. They don't know it. They don't understand what who we are, what we do, what mm. we post and why and all that shit. They 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 never really try to understand. None of them are proper YouTubers. And, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah. so I, I think it was like, um, to avoid, um, getting like fingered by the press or something like that. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's known as like gun lovers and stuff. I don't think it was an ideological decision. I think it was a PR move. 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can see, I can see your point. I, I, I feel that, like YouTube being, like extremely powerful, and uh, you know, like the hub of all videos and stuff. Yeah, people can make careers from YouTube. I think them removing the gun channels lets the public know of their political views. Yeah, I, I think that's that might be why they did it. Um, it was a political yeah. thing. Like they, they feel like they're in somewhat agreement with people who also think that the gun channels should be removed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, YouTube is uh is part of Google who is uh I mean it's not a secret that Google is really, really far left and uh of course people who are like really, really far left are are usually uh you know, pro censorship and uh not really pro freedom so uh it's not really surprising uh we we saw that recently with the google memo where they really uh they really went uh, 1984 on that shit but yeah i ultimately i don't really care cuz the, the the people who were doing that uh they all moved their channels on pornhub and uh, they they are still making money apparently with uh, the advertisers, uh, not the advertisers, their sponsors and uh, and all that. And uh, f so, um, I don't know. if you can still express yourselves and keep your audience by by moving websites, then what's what's the big deal after all? You know, it's um, it's good, it's good because. Uh, it's less of a mo monopoly for for yeah. them, and there are a lot of monopolies on the internet right now, and that that's really bad. I mean, for obvious reasons, having these huge sites that do one specific thing and no other site does it, or like they're they're like obscure with less than one percent of uh, the the big sites uh, audience. That's bad. Yeah, de de definitely. I feel like being from the the UK, like. Like I feel po like politics is also you know like it, it's it's it causes a division of people and like I know whilst I know it's important, um, I personally just try not to get involved with it. So like you know with the whole Facebook and uh, like entourage shit yeah. that went on quite recently, like the way the way I saw that is like. <laughs> bloody zucks in court so all you know all that i saw coming out of it was just memes like loads of shit to post about yeah <laughs> and unfortunately i got on that bandwagon and and was zuck posting and that's that that's what i find the fun in politics but i don't yeah i don't often get involved with it yeah it's kind of the same for me i mean i'm a I'm a very indecisive person, uh, which uh, has a hard time making up his mind about a lot of subjects. So uh, <laughs> yeah, same. I, I don't same. have a, I don't have a lot of convictions. I don't really have principles. Uh, I don't really have you know specific shit that I believe in. Uh, so um, yeah, I tend to change my mind a lot and never be really sure about shit. So um, it's. Um, it's difficult for me to be involved in politics because sometimes I'll say something and uh, the next year my opinion will be like the exact opposite. So uh, yeah. to uh, to avoid looking like a fool, I, I say less and less shit uh, year after year. But yeah, the the political memes are pretty good. One uh, you probably know that one of my biggest pages is uh, political shit posting and it's doing really well right now. And it's, yeah. it's really really fun to uh, to take all these memes. And, uh, uh, and share them. The 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 co-creator of Virtual Experiences, actually, uh, my close friend, he he uh, loves political memes. Oh, thanks. And, uh, I mean, yeah. So uh, I think that there is a lot of there is a lot of humor in it uh, in the political the political posting. Oh, sure. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, the, the, I think the last page that I looked at that was a political posting page was like uh, like Poland Ball or something. Yeah. Like they they were pretty funny. Yeah. Like if if I do get involved with the political memes, 
it tends to be like you know the removed kebab shit yeah and then, like yeah, yeah. The, the the russian the russian kind of stuff because yeah. i I, f I think that's like what with what actually happened with the with regarding the whole removed kebab stuff like the 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 genocide was bad but i think the posting about it is is funny and <laughs> i know morally i shouldn't find it funny but it but it is i mean i think that everything can be funny if uh uh, under the right angle, you know, and um, yeah. we should be allowed to make fun of everything. And <laughs> yeah, the, like yeah, it would it would make it would probably make life better. Yeah, for like, a, for a lot of people, it actually helps them cope. You know, uh, making fun of uh, dark shit, it helps them like accept it and cope with it, and maybe uh, it's it's better than like ignoring things or uh you know Definitely. getting all heated up about shit and uh i'm a big 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 fan of comedy and and humor and it's really important for me like i think uh in my top 10 movies eight or nine are comedies and and yeah i think napoleon dynamite it's gotta be up there for the funniest films yep yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorite movies, yeah. Or uh, Napoleon Dynamite or Airplane. Oh, man, I I've, haven't I've seen Airplane in so many years, I, I barely remember it. I should watch it again. Yeah, like that, <laughs> that, that is really funny. Like, it is a really funny film. By the way, if you like political memes and jokes and shitposting, there's a new website that you absolutely have to check uh, if you haven't already, called Res Resistance Hole. Resistance Home. Uh, Resistance Hall. It's a new website um, by Clickhole. Oh, yeah, Clickhole. I've heard of them. And uh, they they really, really... I mean, they're like The Onion, but in the style of BuzzFeed, you know? And Bu so, BuzzFeed, yeah. And, Do you, uh, uh, have you ever seen the, the website Uncyclopedia? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's, yeah, I think... It, but when when I was at school, we we found that page and it was so funny, encyclopedia. But yeah, I'd... I don't know if it's still I don't know if it's still going. Uh, I I, I probably it probably is still up. I guess I remember um, I remember an encyclopedia. Um, one one page was the the list of weapons uh, that. Don't exist, but should. <laughs> Remember that one? Uh, oh, it was my friends, so good. My friends have talked about it, yeah, but I've I've yeah. not been on it. I I used to go on like the Chuck Norris ones and stuff. Oh yeah, the Chuck Norris one was so good. But the, the Chuck Norris jokes. For some reason, the list of weapons that don't exist but should. Uh, it stuck with me. I, I I've revisited it a bunch of times. I remember a lot of it. <laughs> I probably haven't went there in many many years, but I remember uh, one of the first one was like a bomb filled with knives. And, uh, what what was that? Sorry, bomb filled with knives. Oh yeah, <laughs> that like a dirty bomb. Yeah. Like yeah, I, uh, I, I think I, I think that is a weapon now. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite was, was probably the um, the lava cannon. The and, lava cannon. Yeah, it's it's a cannon that shoots lava, and uh, <laughs> and there was like this weird doctored picture with a lot of pixels and uh, in black and white, you know, old ass style pictures. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And the caption read, "The lava cannon, which does not exist, was used during World War Two, which <laughs> doesn't which doesn't exist either." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate, the, that that web like the people the people that run that mate are, are funny yeah they're, they're funny people really, really. I, I, can you remember the troll science memes oh yeah those were a favorite of mine like i i've like i'm gonna admit it and i li i've got a folder full of about 300 of them like i i find nice that they that like if if i want to look at like nostalgia memes like they're the go-to ones for troll, yeah. like troll science you... oh, unfortunately like when when i post them now like if i post them on important in images or virtual they 
you get the odd guy saying like, oh, bring back 2009 fag, and then it doesn't get very many likes. But huh. they, they were they were funny. They were funny. Oh, yeah, they were. Some of the best shit. You gotta put that shit on Pinterest, man. So, <laughs> Pinterest. so it's, it's archived and, and properly sorted. And uh, I'm trying to make a, a Pinterest of memes, you know, with... Uh, because I have shit in folders, like a lot of stuff that I've downloaded from 4chan in the past 10 or 12 years. And shit that I cannot find anymore, even when I'm going on uh, Know Your Meme. Yeah. I can't, I can't find that shit. I remember especially one meme that I, I really loved. And it was like kind of the first really shit posting stuff that was around on the internet. It was... Um, Mr. Rage Guy, I think it was named. Oh, um... Uh, because, of course, you remember the Rage comics. That were... Yeah, yeah, that were... yeah, I remember them, yeah. So, uh, the Rage comics started on 4chan in uh, 2007, and they got really huge, really fast, and uh, in 2008, they were kind of ubiquitous on, on 4chan, and you saw them, like, all the time, and people got kind of sick of them, because they were posted there so often, yeah, in in such great numbers. So um, a, a bunch of dudes decided to make uh, like weird, absurd parodies of Rage comics that made no fucking sense. Like it was like always. I remember it was always four panels, and like I I, I remember one like the first panel was like a, a whale, and the second panel was like the sun. And the third panel was like a computer, and their fourth fourth panel there was the Rage Man who was saying "foo," and it, <laughs> yeah, it was all the time. It, yeah. it, it was really, really great. And I cannot find this shit anymore on the internet. You, can, you can't, you can't find them, like because Four Chan just completely wipes them. Like, oh yeah, it's it's funny. Like I, I thought, can you remember the Jesus chat line? Uh, this, from 4chan this vaguely rings a bell but it was it, it like it was probably one of the most genius planned trolls that I've ever seen in my life and it, every time you went on 4chan when, you, when they were streaming there would be some guy saying oh right it would post a thread like it would link the, the URL for the live stream and be like let's raid these guys uh -huh. And so, like, people would raid him, and, like, they had, they, they had like, you could ring in and say stuff to him. And people used to ring in and just say absolutely weird, like, proper, you know, like, 4chan-esque shit. Yeah. Saying, like, oh, you know, like, you believe in God, he's, he's not real and stuff like that. And they'd, yeah. they'd say stuff like, what do you think to gays, that like, I'm gay, and shit like that. And it went on, it went on for about two years, and I followed it very closely because it was extremely funny. And, like... These these people who were doing the Jesus chat line, they were they were doing like they were doing like paid ads, like they had their own studio, like yeah. they were proper proper serious. Uh -huh. And uh, I remember I watched watched them sometime in I think it was about 2013 or 2014. Okay. And um, they did a live stream, and <laughs> they. they, they People like people were posting in the chat like, oh, and I can't believe you guys are serious and stuff like that. And they actually they came out and said like they were like you like you're like you guys are faggots. Like thank you for the two years of comedy. And <laughs> literally, these two guys were shit posters from 4chan. <laughs> but they they did this two year chat line, like they they did it like seriously oh, everything man. and like you could see him because like when sometimes people would ring up and <laughs> when when they ring in like they'll say like absolutely like hilarious stuff and the, the the guys would go off the screen and you could hear him laughing so you're like you know like if these guys are devout like devout christians and they're laughing at stuff like that like you know it's not real yeah. and people like people started figuring it out and huh. th these guys they kept it going and it was so so fucking funny like yeah. it was it was so funny i just don't think you'd, you'd see it anymore like you don't see anything like that funny anymore like it used to make me laugh so much like it was i showed all my friends at school it like everything it was so funny so planned out and <laughs> the, the, 
you just don't see it anymore. It, it's it's a shame. Yeah, maybe we'll come back. A lot of stuff on the internet has been in like in cycles. Um, I remember the the the. the the 4chan trolling that made me laugh the most was the um, Dub the Do. You, uh, it's probably the most famous, by the way. But, what was uh, it? Sorry. Uh, you probably remember Dub the Do. It's probably the most famous 4chan trolling shit uh, that they organized uh, with. Um, also, there there was the Scientology stuff that was really really good too, but. Uh, Dub the Do was a contest organized by the soda brand Mountain Dew. Um, oh, because this. They, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, this. <laughs> because they had this new uh, green apple flavor uh, that was um, that was coming up uh, like shortly, and uh, so uh, uh, we need a new name uh, for uh, our uh, new uh, green apple soda uh, flavor. Uh, so uh, you can uh, you can. <laughs> so you, you used to be able to send in your own submissions, didn't you? Exactly, you could suggest whatever name you wanted, and then people uh, on the site w- would vote. And uh, of course, uh, they they started 4chan started trolling that like right away, and there was <laughs> yeah. a lot of stuff. Like uh, I remember the first two names was like uh, Gushin Granny. <laughs> Hitler did nothing and, wrong as well. And uh, Fapple. And Hitler did nothing wrong. Actually, came later, but oh, it was, was that later? it was a bit later. But it was so popular that it was really quickly uh, rose to the top. And um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so uh... is there? There was. I saw another one. So like uh, Manchester United Football Club, they 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 did a competition um, to design their. I think it was one of their second or third kits, and they did this at the time Harambe got shot oh and, yeah and people so, so that people were sending they just put like they just edit a picture of harambe onto the top and they just send it in and i kept seeing that unfortunately and that was pretty funny <laughs> yeah yeah i remember that and it was at the same time that the boaty mac boat face thing happened oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't i didn't find that funny uh it was kind of funny, in my opinion, but I guess yeah. I, I get why you wouldn't. Uh, it's, it's an acquired thing, really, isn't it? Like, but I think the best thing about it is that they went with it. Like, uh, in the case of the Mountain Dew, of course, they didn't name their new flavor. Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> they, they thought it was in pretty bad taste and they ignored the suggestion altogether. Uh, <laughs> but uh, with Boaty Mac Boatface, the boat was really named that, and it still has the name. Yeah, it's it's coming it's coming back to me now that. And it, that that was the best part, in my opinion, is that okay? Well, if if that's what the people want, let let's name it Boaty Mac Boatface. Did, did you did you, did you remember the Pitbull thing? You know the where Pit, Pitbull um, he said. I think he posted something on Facebook saying, uh, "Oh, like where where should I do my next show?" And, yeah. Uh, pe- pe- people voted to. Him. I think it. They went to like a, an all deaf school. Like. Yeah. No, that was was that Britney Spears or Madonna? I, uh, I can't I think, remember. Ah, uh, yeah. There yeah. was a, there was a chick who was doing one, and. I think it was Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. That's yeah. That's I it. Think. And. and <laughs> they they voted for it to go to a school of all deaf people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the, the pitbull one was it in some like shitty place in Alaska? I think like where the population was like something like two two or three thousand or something like that. Yep. I remember seeing I remember seeing that on 4chan. That was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Pitbull, it's a cr- crazy character. Do yeah. you see, Do you see? <laughs> yeah. uh, recently, he was at the United Nations to talk about the water crisis in Africa. Jesus. Yeah, I it's mean, a it, it's a it's weird timeline. Making music. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. A weird, it's a weird timeline we're living on. You see, yeah, uh, it's, it's mad. Is the, the, the power the power of the internet now? Like let stuff like that happen. Oh yeah, it's it's insane. Like, yeah. like the whole the Harambe thing, for example. Like yeah. That 
was so big, and it sh- it shouldn't have been. Like because yeah, then, probably the, the nor the normies caught on to it, and the normies were like, oh yeah, I like memes now, and you'd ask them for a meme, and they'll be like, yeah, Harambe. Yeah. Like, if if you can ba- if you can base your meme knowledge around Harambe, then you probably don't like memes. Well, it was the two big memes of uh, 2016, uh, Harambe and Damn Daniel. Oh, damn Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I remember this was, that. This one was worse because uh, with Harambe I saw a bunch of funny ones, but Damn Daniel was like just nothing. That 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 guy got an infinite lifetime of of fans. Yeah, and it's kind of weird too because I mean he was the guy being filmed like the guy who filmed him got like a stupid prize like a, a surfboard or some some dumb shit and yeah uh, yeah they went on some TV shows as well didn't they oh yeah it, it's a it's a horrible American TV show called um, LN something with a horrible woman that plays tricks on people and uh, steals <laughs> other people's jokes yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really it's really bad shit. I don't. Yeah, the, I, that Ellen chick does get mixed reviews off people. I've I've found. Yeah, I've heard mostly negative shit about her. Apparently, uh, yeah, she does a lot of of nasty shit and and tricks people and yeah, yeah. She doesn't seem like a good person at all. She seems pretty bad. Yeah, I I just I personally haven't haven't watched it. Uh, Oh no, me neither. I just—it's what people say. Like, uh, I yeah. Don't, I yeah, don't. I, I, can... I don't watch American TV. I tried once, and uh, it was—it <laughs> was pretty hard. Yeah, I, British TV is honestly the same. Like you—you you probably spend most of your time watching adverts, and then surprisingly, a fucking program will come on. Like it's—it's—it's uh, it's, it's sh- it's shocking. Yeah, that happened to me. That happened to me once. A few years ago, when because um, I usually watch uh, shit like on streaming sites or Netflix or stuff like that, and uh, or on or on the, the the BBC where there is no adverts, but there was this time when I wanted to watch the the IT Crowd uh, special. You know when they finished the the series there was yeah. a mo- there was a movie at the end and I and I want I wanted to watch the movie like live when it was um, broadcast and it was on on this uh, this uh, TV channel called uh, Channel Four yeah and Channel Four yeah man yeah. And it was like <laughs> I think I watched more ads than uh than there was a, a show yeah it was, it's, and it's it was, bad like and it, it was really really bad ads by the way they in, were really in, in say so in the U, in the uk you you basically you have bbc one bbc two which is channel one and two yeah and for them they have strict tv licensing so like yeah me being a student whenever i move to another student house i have to pay tv license the t- the TV license is good because it means when I watch BBC One and Two, there's no adverts. Yeah, it's but, basic basically the same thing here. Yeah, but then as soon as you go like above that, it's just adverts after adverts. Like yeah. it, it's sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's really unwatchable. I haven't watched TV. Uh, I haven't really what I haven't owned a TV in ten years. Ten years ago, I thought. Okay, I I have the internet. There's YouTube now. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, a lot of shit to do online. I I don't need TV anymore. Not that I ever needed it, but uh, yeah, I, I I got fed up with TV because uh, it, it seems like it keeps getting worse and worse. And uh, yeah, it's it's annoying. I think ten years ago I I threw my TV in the trash and I never regretted my decision never yeah, wanted to, yeah. Never wanted I mean to I, in, in my in my room at the moment I mean, all I've got is my computer and a laptop and yeah. that's it but like, I don't watch TV it's, yeah. it's frustrating yeah yeah it's same yeah especially now because uh, I have my PS4 that is hooked uh, right into my computer screen I just have to push a button to go Do from you, one yeah. to the other so uh, one, yeah one thing, one thing I can't believe is is Fortnite like it's just come out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It was like, ast- it was astroturfed, I think. Sorry, what did you say? 
I think it was like astroturfed, and that's why uh, it was it became so huge. Yeah, it's it's mad. It's mad. Like it, it if you you know if if you ever like if you went on Twitch maybe like two or three years ago, like you'd see maybe the top viewed game would be like League of Legends with you know like thirty forty thousand like viewers watching it. Now, like now, you go on Fortnite and the top viewed game, like you go on Twitch, sorry, and the top viewed game will be Fortnite, and it's got some mad like three hundred k views. Yeah, it's. <laughs> uh... You click on you click on the the first the first link, and Ninja's there playing with Drake. Like what? Like what is going on? It's weird. There's um for some reason, celebrities love it or. Uh... In my opinion, they have you know sponsor contracts to advertise for it. Yeah, that why that is why so many celebrities have been talking about Fortnite lately. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know. I well, I never uh, was into um, online competitive shooters or online gaming at all, for that matter. And so uh, I didn't. I didn't really give a shit at first. I thought it was like. Uh, an uh, Overwatch DLC, because because uh, <laughs> for the past couple of years it was like Overwatch, like everyone all the time kept talking about Overwatch. Now it's... Overwatch, uh, like I I won't deny it was a very good game. Like me, me and the co-creator of Virtual uh, uh-huh. played that a lot. Well, I never tried it because I think the. The aesthetics look uh, horrible, and uh, I, I don't really like this kind of games. I mean, a long time ago, I played uh, Quake 3 Arena and, and Counter-Strike, and um, yeah, even that, didn't really find it that fun. I like playing multiplayer when there's other people in the room. Yeah, and yeah. I think it's kind of a, like a introvert thing to like play online like that to spend so many hours playing online yeah and... for, for me for me like i'm i'm i love it like i i used to play i went from runescape to world of warcraft and then from wow to call of duty mm-hmm. and then from cod back to wow and now to fortnite like now i'm yeah i play a lot of fortnite okay and it, it's good it, it's a good game like, well, I don't doubt it. I just uh, the the pro- the problem is like I don't like playing it on my own. So sometimes I will post like in my group saying like yeah yo like add me on Fortnite and I'll get people join my party and they just fucking troll and it's so annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that can be uh that can be a problem. Uh, yeah, so frustrating. Like it's. But I mean, it's 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 an interesting topic though because, like, it, it's going to be interesting to see how for, how long Fortnite is around for because I mean, the, the problem the problem with online games is like the, the like the the genres of them often change so like yeah maybe two years ago MOBAs like League and Dota were the were the important. Like you know, everyone was playing them. Everyone was talking about them. Everyone was streaming them games. And now, people have have moved on from from League uh, onto the fast paced shooting games like Fortnite. And I remember at first, like to me, I feel World of Warcraft was the the game that brought competitive um, PV like player versus player to to online games. Oh and yeah, now, definitely. What World of Warcraft sadly is is gone downhill. It's it's a shame. Well, it's really really old game. I remember uh, I had friends who were hooked on World of Warcraft fifteen years ago. Maybe <laughs> yeah. maybe it was time that it's, you know let the uh, let some fresh blood uh, take. Uh... Yeah, like I've I've seen I've seen videos on YouTube of people um, like commenting. Like I, I watched uh, like a rare items video. And uh, a lot of the comments were saying like, "Oh, my dad had the number one rare item on World of Warcraft." And <laughs> like when 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 you when you see that a child is saying, "My dad had that," it it, it makes aware like how old the game actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it was it was pretty huge uh, around yeah twenty 
2003 was pretty I, I had a bunch of friends who played it at the time and yeah they they were 20 year old so they're 35 now they probably have kids yeah and they 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 don't do it like what what i feel for me now is like how long this meme you know this page business is going to go on for um because i mean a lot of my friends in real life know that i do it and they're like well how long are you going to do it for and you don't know because like, like I'm, I'm 25 in september and like i don't want to i don't want to be doing the memes anymore because it, it's kind of you know like me that like, to me i see memes as like young adult stuff really yeah i don't i don't know be <laughs> See, I, I don't know, like, I, I just don't know that how long it's going to go on for, like. Well, for me, it's um, pretty obvious and really simple. As long as I find it funny and enjoyable, I keep doing it. If uh, someday I stop enjoying it, then I'll quit. But yeah. uh, as long as I find it funny and as long as I enjoy it, I don't see any reason to stop. Yeah, like, I, I've kind of... Personally, I've kind of shot myself in a, in my foot because, I mean, virtual is almost at a million. Yeah. Like, my art page visual treats is at 400k. Yeah. Um, important posting is about to hit 500k. Uh, and, you know, it takes it takes a lot to run just one page, let, let alone, like, three. And... For me, sometimes, you know, on a busy day where I have to get up and go to uni and revise and stuff all day, like, I, I find getting up to schedule posts is, I find it as a chore, like, it's somewhat taken some of the enjoyment out of it. Um, oh, yeah. For me, which, it, it's, it leaves it, like, a questionable topic to myself, like, is how, like, how long can, can this go on for? Yeah, for, yeah. For me. Yeah, yeah. My my girlfriend is a big fan of visual treats, by the way. She's been subscribed for like two or three years. Oh. She, she loves you, this page. Oh, wow. Thank you. Like, and, if she, uh, it, it, yeah? I've got a group visual treaters. If she ever wants to submit to um, to the page, she can just uh, like put her photo comment in the group. And like, if it's good, then I'll post it. So, okay. That's, I try to, I try to make. I try to make my pages very um like user friendly so like I like yeah. to I like to let people you know like some people might see it as stealing other people's photos but I feel like if someone's posted it, if someone's got a really good image yeah they don't have a platform to post it on like I'll post it for them and All right. they can show I... their friends like look I've I I've posted this image and they've posted it for me yeah so cool. i i do this all the time it's it's cool because it's cool for me because it's less work for me it's yeah, cool for, it's cool exactly. for for them because they enjoy it they enjoy they've sent the thing and i'm sharing it and uh it's cool for the community because it's more like good memes yeah so I, there's it's really the, positive it's, tr it's a triple positive with no downside is exactly exactly and I think I think it's good because there there's some there's some pages that don't engage with their followers and well, I feel like the followers are the most important thing to a page. Obviously. For me, engaging is the most fun part, and that's a uh, uh, that's what I wanted to say. By the way, when you said you had issues with scheduling posts and that yes. uh, it was a chore, and uh, I yeah. used I used to do scheduled posts in the past because uh, like. Uh, when I was working um, as a warehouse man a couple of years ago, while uh, I worked in a, in a warehouse moving heavy boxes and shit, yeah, so uh, very no, of, of, of course, yeah. But the point is that you you know I couldn't be in, on the internet at the same time, you know, no computer, yeah. no internet. So uh, so um, <clears throat> I scheduled the post for for that, but um, after a while, uh, I I stopped doing it. And I just posted when I when I had um, you know free time, yeah, uh, like the morning or or my lunch break or uh, you know uh, when the boss was not around, or, <laughs> yeah, or of course on the weekends, uh, because that's that's exactly that's what I like 
most about Facebook. That's what it, it does best is the interaction between the page and the audience. Yeah. It, it enables that to work to a level where there is no other website or network that does this at yeah, the moment. It, and uh, I, when I, I find f Facebook, it does actually help a lot with um, like with with your page growth. Is it? Mean, oh obviously, yeah. Oh the yeah, more people yeah, that, yeah, yeah. The more people that see it, the more shares it gets. The oh, more yeah. shares it gets, the more other people see it. So it brings in loads of traffic. Yeah, there is no other website that helps you grow as much as Facebook does. I remember when I created yeah. my page, I had, uh, well, I started at zero, obviously. And in a week, I had a thousand people. Yeah. And in a year, I had a hundred thousand. I mean, it goes really fast because what Facebook does is that it promotes every page equally. Whether you have sixteen followers or a million, Definitely, you will get the yeah. same. You will get the same exposure, and it will be recommended uh, as many people. And that is what is great. It's it's great, really great to build an an audience. Yeah, yeah. I but think um, yeah, I I remember. <sighs> I made it in September of 2015, my page, and uh -huh. I remember I'd been stuck on 20k for about six months, huh. and I went I went home uh, for the summer, I moved home, and in one summer, uh, which is you know, three or four months, I got 350,000 likes, Yeah, and my like out of nowhere, my page just blew up an insane amount, and it's it you know it is good but i find like pages tend to like, i find below 500k for me is is the ideal um because i mean it's still big but you you can still interact properly with the with the audience oh yeah that's one of the reasons why i, why I made a new page but um yeah i don't i don't do scheduled posts anymore now because what I what I like the most is seeing the reactions yeah, of, yeah. of the people because that's that's the main reason why I do it. That's why because uh, I could just look at the memes and and keep them for myself. But the reason why I have a page is to be able to share them, to share with, with, share with what you as, find funny. Yeah, exactly yeah, with as definitely. many people as possible and see their reactions. And so uh, now uh, I like seeing it like in real time, like the first the first few minutes. It's always exhilarating when uh, <laughs> yeah. when one of your shit like uh, uh, when people like it and and when they enjoy it and uh, or when they hate it, like oh you posted loss again, oh not loss, and, uh, you know oh. the spamming the the angry smileys loss, and emojis. Loss Jeez. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That, that is a huge problem within important posting is. Is lost posting. Like, oh, really? they, everyone fucking hates it. Like, <laughs> but the, the the thing is, the thing is, is that I'm I'm quite somewhat contradicting. So I say to people, oh, if you pan, if you post lost posting, I'll ban you. And then I go and shit post lost posting for about six <laughs> hours. And <laughs> get, getting you know getting the reaction like the angry butter reaction off twenty thousand people is it, pretty funny. Yeah, I've. <laughs> I've been I've become kind of a, a fan of lost posting. Yeah, it in, is funny. Like it is funny. It's so widespread like it works everywhere. Everyone knows lost whether it is on Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. It's it's universal and it, it's always a strong reaction like people never expect it even if it's like all the time. It's kind of like the new Rickroll. Yeah. You know? Posting loss is the 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 Rick roll of nowadays, and uh, I mean the Rick roll and the duck roll is still funny. Yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, and loss is ten years old as well. So, uh, but I yeah, know, is that I didn't know is that old? Uh, June uh, tw twenty eight, um, two thousand eight, June two thousand eight. So yeah, it's that old. <laughs> wow, it's it's gonna it's gonna turn ten uh, next month. I I did not know. It was, I mean, it's old but gold, though, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah old yeah. but gold. I mean, like, and Rick rolls are still uh, funny. I mean, the, and people are still doing it. Last time I was Rick rolled was like on Reddit a couple months ago, and I didn't I didn't really expect it. And I was like, ah, nice. And uh, <laughs> yeah. but but yeah, it's it's kind of like that. And in, 
it's it's really funny how people are still not expecting it. I mean, it's one of my rules that I've had for a long time. I try to post loss yeah. at, at least once a day since November of 2015. For, you know? for me, for it's me, been... it's, it's, it's Vaporwave. Like, yeah. I, I, like, I absolutely love Vaporwave. Like, I think the culture of it is cool. Like, anti-consumerism, uh, the aesthetic of Vaporwave is cool. Yeah. Like, the, the music genre itself, like, I actually like, unironically. Mm -hmm. uh, it, But it's just, it's very dead. I found the people, like, my, my page at first was catered around Vaporwave. And, like, I had, I don't, have you seen the page uh, YOLO? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like within two days of making my page, uh, I was stuck on about five hundred likes, and he messaged my he messaged my page, the admin Fred, and he was like, "Yo, man, you got a cool page," and he was sharing it, and I felt so I, like I started out obviously like a noob, like I'd never made a page before, and yeah. I saw Yolo like with you know a hundred hundred k likes, I was like, "Wow, like my pay I like my page to be like that, like it's it's cool," and like we. Literally, you know, Fred's got a 100k page. I had a 500 like page, and he he liked it. He, uh, he shared it on on his page, and I found like the page admins from from like Vaporwave pages are very like very like nice, cool people. Like uh, the the admin from LSD Meme Emulator, um, which is I find which is probably the best page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, he he did that. You know, have you seen that Rog guy that you can pay to, and he'll do videos for you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> LSD meme emulator did videos with Rog, and I remember this is before. Like, I was I was starting to like inquire what Vaporwave was, mm -hmm. and LSD like LSD meme emulator had all these videos with with Rog saying like we're the best page for like Vaporwave and aesthetic memes and stuff like that. I just thought it was so cool. It was just so cool. And like now unfortunately, like I find Vaporwave is not as common anymore. Oh and, no, it's uh it, it's rare. It is it's, it's sad that it's gone because it was cool. Like it was really yeah. cool. It was kind of it was kind of overused and uh there was a there was an issue with it. It's like you never knew if people like posted it ironically or not. Yeah. There was there was a lot of people who didn't yeah. like it but posted it like ironically because they thought it was dumb or uh, or whatever. Yeah, and De I like, think definitely like that's one of the things that 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 killed it and that maybe made it seem more prevalent than it actually was because yeah. a lot of a lot of these posts were like ironic and shit. I, I think um, it, I think. Va like vaporwave is kind of, it was kind of like an underground cult like you had yeah you had it, this you know the followers who loved vaporwave for what it was and then you'd have because at the time vaporwave was big so people people like pages would say that they'd like vaporwave just to 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 get their you know to get some more traffic to their page but they wouldn't actually like it yeah and then you'd get people that would hate on it saying oh it's, it's fucking weeb shit it's weird <laughs> like <laughs> like i'm a 24 year old grown man like and like, i won't deny that i think vaporwave is like it's cool like it is cool and like it'd be nice to see it back but like it's all this like e shit and stuff's <laughs> about now so <laughs> Uh, I've I've kind of seen like vaporwave making a, a kind of a small comeback, especially on Tumblr in the past couple of months. So maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe. But it it really has been cannibalized by the the explosion of like synthwave and retrowave. Yeah, and yeah. It, I, that retrowave think... and uh, retrowave and synthwave have has steamrolled over uh, vaporwave. Yeah, yeah. I think. The, the Bob Ross stuff as well, like we, my page caught on to that like quite early, like as you know the Bob Ross hype was going around. What? And no, that that's that helped my brand like grow, like the page grow as well. What, what about Bob Ross? I um. 
You know, you know, you know, because the display picture on virtual is Bob Ross. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, whenever whenever I change the display picture on virtual, like off Bob Ross, people like bring back Bob, like Bob come back. Oh stuff, yeah, stuff like that. And like, I've I've posted I've posted um like a few episodes of the joys of painting and uh-huh. another another admin from the page actually got in touch with the bob ross corporation um, wow <laughs> yeah and asked like asked if that we could use like use bob you know bob ross like just so we couldn't get like copyright issues yeah and they said yeah it's fine like <laughs> i actually i was actually quite surprised when the admin messaged me saying like oh yeah i've uh I spoke to the the Bob Ross Corporation, and they said that you know we can use him, like yeah. as a. And we were like, yeah, that's pre- that's pretty cool. Like that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's I mean, really nice. Our, our page, the page has also been mentioned in a Vice article, which was fucked as well. Like, I didn't expect that. Hmm. Yeah, I just I, <laughs> I I never thought that the page would get to you know nine hundred and sixty k likes. Like it's it's bizarre. Like it's it's bizarre. Yeah, it's so unexpected. Like yeah, for, for me too. I thought I would have like a thousand subscribers. Cause... Exactly. Like you don't expect it, do you? Like you, you don't you don't expect it. Yeah, because at the time I had a a thousand followers on on Twitter and a, a thousand followers on Tumblr. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have a thousand on on Facebook as well. And there, then this way I can shit post on as many networks as possible. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah. fun. And uh, it went to a thousand pretty fast, and it yeah. did, kept growing. It, it's after like that. it's like Facebook is it's like a huge wall, isn't it? And then you got all these meme pages that are graffitiing on it with their shit posting. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. I it's, yeah. It's kind of like a farmers market when we all have our uh, shit vegetables and uh, meme uh, fruits on the on display, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> people yeah. people who want them can uh, can get them. I think I think it's salt on display on my page. So much saltiness. What? There's a lot of saltiness. Oh. Right? Yeah, in in the me in, in with memes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the that's one of the things that make it funny, in my opinion. Yeah, it, you, I've had to since since I've started doing it. I've I've learned to like not take not take offense with anything that people say, like yeah. like on my pages and the messages and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think I think that's import like that's important because I've seen I've seen some pages um, not respond well to their their audience and they've yeah yeah like stopped posting and stuff. Actually, I I experienced that myself on Visual Treats. I was getting I was getting like pissed off with people commenting saying, "Oh, this isn't a Visual Treat." Um. You know, and it was it got it got a bit annoying. So like on on visual, I actually I got a bit butt hurt, and so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna quit the page. And then it lasted like two or three days, and I came I came back to it. Yeah, it was it was really hard for me at first too, and uh, I never really thought about quitting the page, but I banned a lot of people. Yeah, right? and yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes for serious stuff, but a lot of time for petty stuff and. I've after I, a while after a while I just stopped giving a shit. Yeah, and, it's the know, same for me. I like, haven't banned a, any anyone in months, and uh, I think yeah, I think it's important because like banning people is shunting you in growth. Like you're making your page likes go down, even if they are the people that you're banning are like salty, you know, toxic people. Still, if they if that one person shares one image. To is a thousand friends on Facebook. That means you can eat. You're gonna get a thousand more traffic. Like a thousand people from that one salty person have seen that image from your page. Yeah, I don't see. And it'll bring yeah. them to your page. I, I don't see it like that. And uh, maybe I'm wrong, but in my opinion, 
and when you when you like ban people who come and nasty shit uh, yeah. it it creates like a, a better atmosphere and it's better for like community building yeah so uh in the long term i think it makes your page uh, um grow like more steadily and and maybe i mean obviously you're almost at one million so you're doing things right uh, yes yeah. there's no de denying it but um yeah I, I, i value like i always value uh quality over quantity yeah and, uh, for me like i i see what you're saying like virtual uh i've never had any problems with people um on virtual um because i i tend to post like my best like the best sourced images that i've got on virtual but on, on important posting like i've had a lot of trouble with butt hurt people on important posting and like on virtual I, i've probably banned like five people since i've had the page but on on important posting like And, it, and in the group, I like the the list of banned people is in the thousands. Oh Be yeah. Because so, not normally I don't care, but there is some people that are persistent with shit posting and and just trolling the page that I've just had to ban them. Like it it is it couldn't have been ignored any longer, so like I, I've had to ban them. But like virtual has not not been too bad. I've had I've had some people messaging me like friends from like other pages. They've been saying like yo like the content on virtual is a bit it's a bit shite. Like you know try and post better stuff. And like I I like them messages from other page admins is is good because like to see it from other like minded people I find is very very helpful like helpful yeah. so like if if i have like a month where the post reach has gone down from 10 million to a million and you know posts are getting 500 likes like then i'll and people are saying like your content shite like then i'll try and improve it that's a good way of, uh, of yeah. working i guess yeah yeah like it's it's one thing i've learned um i think it's from having pages is meeting other page admins and like on the internet and stuff and yeah i feel like that we're all very like like-minded people oh yeah which is it's cool man like it's cool yeah 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 we are uh we're all on the same page it's sur it surprised me at first but um yeah i guess i'm used to it now but I, i'm not sure i'm not sure why I would I would have expected the exact opposite actually. I mean, yeah, because it's really surprised me at first. Some pages that have like quite salty, like edgy admins. Yeah, uh, I'm not I'm not gonna say any names. <laughs> uh, obviously, because I don't want to like upset you know cause cause a ruckus or anything. But like th there is some pages that <laughs> you know the people that run them don't give a fuck about anyone and yeah. they don't give a fuck about the followers they they don't give a fuck about getting banned and i mean it, it's pretty funny but like you don't sometimes you just don't want to speak to those people like yeah yeah it's uh it's a choice and uh to me clearly uh what is the most important is the the community building aspect like i'm just not i'm not just sharing memes for the sake of sharing memes that's yeah. that's boring to me i mean i get why some other people would get their kicks or some other people would do it like for the money or for for the i don't know yeah the money the money thing for me has been uh like people obviously people have seen me selling like selling stuff for my page and like oh wow you've you know you've sold out and <laughs> per personally i don't want to say i've sold out but I, i think you know i'm a student i like i i can't work and for me like i'm putting a lot of time into my page like into the pages like giving people the best content i can give them 
yeah. and you know I could be working in that spare time and for me like I find like the money that I've generated through my pages like it's helpful as a student like if obviously if I worked full time I wouldn't care too much about the money but for me like being a student it's needed the money's needed you know what I mean and people people can say like yeah you know like you've sold out and like they can think that like I'm still gonna post the same stuff that I've always posted I'm still gonna try and give the best content to people yeah I mean honestly I really do not see what's wrong about it you're doing uh, you're, you're doing work you're making people happy I always get messages of people who say oh uh, your content is so good uh, yeah your, your page always puts a smile on my face uh, yeah and that, that's keep, the up, stuff. keep up the good work and of course what's what's wrong about you know it's really uh, this kind of you know uh, reactions and, and messages really for me uh, justify the, the fact of you know trying to uh, to profit from the page because yeah. why not why not what's the what's the big deal really uh i i have a patreon and everything as i i i really don't see why not uh, yeah it, exactly right and pe people who are against it they always have those weird arguments that i don't really understand and um i i, I don't i really i really don't get it I mean, um, if you can get if you can get money like that, and you know it's legal and it doesn't hurt anybody, then yeah, it, I mean, what's the issue then? It is. It's not like we are forcing people to give us money. Like hmm. for me, like I I worked closely with um, a friend from America who was selling like like internet art like kind of merchandise and yeah she would you know i i had a very close relationship with her with with selling stuff and i ne like we never forced people to buy it like if people didn't buy the stuff like i you know i wasn't bothered i would still post the same stuff like mm, and yeah it's up to the people whether they want to buy in it and for people are like oh yeah you've you've sold out by monetizing it but for for me, it's well, you know, I'm still a me like I'm still a a meme page, but you know, been like I said, been a student. Any bit of money that I can have to survive off is is helpful to me, and it's more helpful to me than it would be to you know the followers. If you know what I mean, I'm still going to give the followers the the content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, I've been doing a lot of sponsored shit in the past. And uh, it's been kind of quiet for me right now, but uh, yeah. I'm 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 looking for new sponsors, and um, basically a lot of time when I post like uh, sponsored shit, you know, uh, I I see a lot of people uh, being annoyed, and I also see a lot of people trying to justify it, like, oh, it's okay, uh, he needs money uh, because yeah. yeah. Because uh, at some point I talk about being in debt because I, I am a, a little in debt uh, right now. So uh, it's always a big help when I can get money from the internet. And uh, yeah, a lot of people it's... say, yeah, yeah, it's okay. He does it because he needs uh, money to pay his debt and everything. And uh, it's kind of nice when people are trying to defend you and everything. But it's kind of weird too because yeah. uh, it's, like, think... it's, it's like it's like uh, it's some, you know... Uh, stuff that you're doing like uh, uh in between jobs and yeah what, what, i don't see why it couldn't be a job i mean what's a job when you think about it it's a thing that you do and you spend time at some place that you you know some exactly random place like, and you get money and I, that's it i don't see the difference i don't see why uh, posting shit on facebook would not be a job yeah. It has all the characteristics of a job. Why are people not considering it a job? I have never seen a valid reason for this. I I think a lot of people they they see they see a page and be like, this is a page, but I, I you know like, but I don't think they know that there is a person behind it that is in, investing all this time into either creating their own content 
or you know sourcing it from uh, you know other websites and posting it dealing with all the followers I, I don't think people understand this like I I get a lot of messages saying yeah with people like yo like your page is shit that you you've posted some like you've got almost a million followers and you're getting 500 likes and stuff like that and people people they don't realize that there is a person behind it and uh, like like you said like you're doing everything that you would do in a job like you're investing time you know like you, you're using your own time and for some people they do it for free you know because they they haven't had the chance to monetize the page and like it's i i find you know when when talking about page monetization it it can be very uh like controversial yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah. I don't I don't see why you would have to do it for free. I mean, you're you're providing content to people, and it, it doesn't matter if you work hard or not. I know a bunch of people who work in an office who do jack shit all day, and uh, you know, they yeah. it's like they they sit behind a computer all day long, and and they don't do a lot of stuff, um, or uh, or uh, you know, I, it's. Uh, in some cases, uh, I mean, if if someone would, would tell you that they they have a, a job in an office and they don't do a lot of stuff and and they they get paid at the end of every month, nobody nobody bats an eye. But for some reason, a lot of people loses their shit because it's like over the internet. Because yeah. what I I don't it's so fucking weird. There is no there is no reason to just there is no reason to do it for free. Except if you're already rich, or if uh, you haven't found a way to monetize it. Yeah, o otherwise, exactly. exactly. O otherwise, why? I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, that that's the problem. Like, if you can find a way to monetize your page, because I mean, it's not like this isn't. It's not like YouTube. It's like on YouTube, you get 100k, like 100k followers. YouTube monetizes your page. Like, if we get if we get ten million followers, or you know, like five hundred k, Facebook doesn't monetize our page. We like we have to find the way to monetize it. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. you have to you you have to either companies will come to you, and a lot of them like you know you get the inbox saying like we're from an advertising brand. Like I'm sure you've probably got the the messages to your page that was from like fake stolen accounts. Oh, hundreds, man. You, yeah, they're fucking well annoying. And like you, you have to find a way to monetize it and it's it's not easy. And then even when you do monetize your page, like you, you you're not really earning the same amount you would earn from a 9 to 5 job Monday to Friday. My page did get bad where I was you know, spamming like ads and shit on it, which I can understand pisses people off. But you know, I've I've taken that on board, and I don't like I'm. You know, I keep it just images now, like just images. I mean, if it's the majority of what you're posting, I get what people would be upset. Yeah, but if, like if it's it, it did like get bad less... for me. It did get bad. Uh huh. I don't know. I always kept. I always kept it. Uh, I, I always made sure it was less th than ten percent of the posts. Yeah. Uh, sponsored, like it was. Usually, what I did was like w one sponsored post a day, and uh, I usually post about twenty times a day. So uh, it was five percent. I I don't see. That. Yeah, to me that's a good ratio. That's a good ratio. Five percent seems good to me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for, for me, it it got it got bad because so sometimes I can have like I can have like three weeks where I'm so busy I can't I can't post images, hmm. so it it would clog up the you know the the feed of the page like adverts and stuff. Yeah, being a student is hard. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's actually it's actually somewhat funny because. <laughs> On you know on student uh, like on nights out like uh, you know you you know you meet people when you know when you've been drinking loads and like you sat like like you sat in a you know a house party and you're chatting to people and 
I've been in some some cases where people are like, oh yo, like, do you like do you like memes? And they'll show me memes, and these people would show me memes from my own page. <laughs> so like, I, I'm I'm sat with these random random fucking people, um, and you know they're showing me memes from my page, and I'm like like I'm like yo, like that that's my page, like, <laughs> and they're like what. What like it happened? It happened in a. I, I went to a, like a, a techno, a techno and like tech house event in in Manchester, and I met a guy there, and he he he, he was show, he was showing me like shit from virtual, and I was like, dude, like that is my page, <laughs> and to see and to see someone be like, no fucking way. Like, like, no way! I followed that page. Fucking, eight. it's like awesome. It's awesome. Like, it's a cool feeling to know that you can make people like you've got a page that when someone is bored or you know depressed and shit like that, and they want to look at some like juicy, like fresh memes, they can come to my page and I can give them what they want. And it's such, a, it's such a nice feeling. That's yeah. That's awesome. That's it's, a great it's, feeling. it's so nice, and that's that's why, like, you know, sometimes I'll get disheartened by it. But like, all my housemates, for example, they, re well, religiously follow my page, and I'll post some and they'll come into my room like, John, that's fucking well funny. Like, nice. and it's it's such it's such like it's just so nice to do, like to make people laugh. It's 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 I it's very lucky like I'm. I'm very lucky to have as many followers as I do and the groups and stuff. I'm I'm pretty no, lucky. I, I don't think you're lucky, man. I think you I think you worked hard for it and you earned it. Yeah. I, th th there is there is that like but the, the the way I see it is like I would want people to come to my page. Do you know what I mean? Like quite arrogant like I, I want my page to be the best page on Facebook. I know it's not. <laughs> like, I know, I know it's not. Like, there's a lot of, a lot. Of, I, I would say probably half the audience of my page don't don't follow, Like, they still like it, but they've un like unfollowed seeing it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but probably. Yeah. That that happens. So like, I I want to be the best page that people can go to. And like no one ever was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, it's it's good. I I think uh, like it's been a good experience. Like I've met a lot of cool people from the pages that you know yeah, I don't same. know them in real life. And people are like, oh, you know, you, you speak to people over the internet, but you can learn a lot from other page admins, and they're all very like-minded people. And it's it's definitely like it's it's been a good experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, the fact uh, of making so many people laugh, that's what makes it all worth it. Exactly, like, exactly. And like if yeah, if that wasn't the case, I, I probably would have stopped yeah, a while ago. It, it it's better to make people laugh than it's to make them cry. <laughs> like do you, well, <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Like if, if you want to like being alive is enough to make you cry as it is. Imagine imagine yeah. being alive and not having memes. No, I I cannot ima imagine that. It's too sad. Like, it's I too I would have depressing. I would have died a long time ago. Like <laughs> Yeah, me too maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's possible. Yeah, it's 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 a cool it's a cool thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really great cuz uh you have the you have the social yeah. as aspect with all these people and also on the personal level uh, these memes are are funny, so it's it's great. It's a great double whammy yeah. of, uh, I, I, of uh, you know self indulgence I, and also social sharing, and and it's a, it's a double source of joy. You laugh first from the meme, and then you you know you 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 uh, you you get enjoyment it, from the fact of sharing it, and that other people are are liking it and, and laughing at it. And, uh, exactly, and like I think. A meme is a showcase of internet humor. Like, it, they're very, you know, you can't go anywhere on the internet without memes. I mean, it, it's, it's a, it's, I don't, yeah, I don't, 
it's just yeah i'm i'm lost for words <laughs> What I uh what what do you what do you mean? You I mean yeah, I mean they're... like if you look at if you look at the internet, like as soon as people, you know, everyone everyone that I know low key likes memes. Even like yeah. the the type of memes that we like me and you post are different to you know like this shit on like Lad Bible and Uni Lad. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? That they, they are yeah. still memes. Like they're still somewhat memes, even though they're they're not really memes. And you tell someone like, yeah, like I'm a, I'm an admin of a meme page. They're like, sometimes they're like, oh, that's weird, but it's really cool. So it, it's everyone think like everyone thinks it's it's cool, which I think is cool. Yeah, and. Um... I don't know, especially since um, lately with the the blurred lines between memes and shit posting and just funny images. I think meme uh, is losing its meaning. It, it's used it used to mean something really specific. It used to me to mean a concept, like whether it is yeah. image, text, or or video or whatever that is that is uh, copied and combined and transformed uh, within you know. Um, forums or or social media or uh, you know that and now it's when someone sees a funny picture on the internet they just call it a meme yeah exactly it, it, like, it has completely lost its original meaning so uh, it has yeah it has i don't i don't really because of that i i don't really like to use the word meme now and i don't really I, yeah it's just uh, it's the category of it really isn't it like Yeah, yeah. When when someone asks me what I do, I, I just say I'm an internet entertainer. Do you, you know, I I think I think shit post bot said the same. You know, like the big Brazilian pages, like um, what is it, Explorer? Yeah. Like they they're like they're categorized as meme pages, even though they're not posting memes. They they're posting like you know like strange pictures. Yeah. Like that that page is huge. That Bra that Brazilian yeah. explorer page is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Brazilians really love weird memes. There's uh, <laughs> I, there's there, there are there are uh, two ethnic groups on the internet that really love their weird memes. It's the, the people from Brazil and the people from Finland. Finland. Those two those two countries really gave us a lot of weird shit. And, uh, and I didn't know. I didn't know Finland. I, I knew Brazil, like Brazil, but oh, not. you know Finland. It's um, it's where the 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 whole Dolan shit came from. Yeah, Dolan it is. Was, um, Dolan is so funny, and it came from Finland. You know, really. Yeah, 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 and it, there was a whole. Um, you know, family of memes that yeah. came from all that shit. Uh, like originally, uh, a, there was, like, yeah, I think it it started with Dolan, and then there was this weird uh, parody of Pedo Bear called uh, <laughs> Spurdo Sparde. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you know the weird Spurdo Sparde. <laughs> it is Venice. so great. Yeah. yeah. And this this <laughs> Spurdo Spade is so funny. It's so great. It It's so great. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that 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 too is like from Finland. I, and, uh... I didn't. I did not know that. Like I've, I've actually got a few Finnish friends, and they're so. They don't know anything about memes. So to know Finland was a big provider of memes is surprising. Like I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, and that reminds me uh, that there was some really weird hybrid uh, between Brazilian memes and Finnish memes that happened at some time, and it didn't really take off. But I have some of the images in a, in a folder somewhere. <laughs> that that was really amazing. Yeah, uh, there was one big meme from Brazil called Dogora. That was um, a dog with a, a weird, awkward face. And um, so that got mixed up. Uh, that got mixed. I mean, uh, with Dolan. Yeah. And it, it started a thing called the the, the Dogola show, <laughs> and it and it was like this weird shit Dolan style, but with Dogola. 
and after um, after a while, uh, it's there was one specific um, thing that that was passed around on 4chan. It was like this this short uh, stories with Dugola doing some shit, yeah. and then um, it always ended. It also always ended the same way, like with the, something getting destroyed after a month. But the, the, that's what I've noted about memes is you notice how like every every country has a different style. Yeah, like Australians. Yeah, are known for <laughs> shit posting. When you said oh, every country has its own style, Australia is the thing that popped in my head like, first. Australia, like. They they're just fucking shit posters. Like they they shit post twenty eight hours a day. Like I, yeah. I just don't know how they do it. <laughs> and you got Brazilians, like they spam like ja 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 cumbia like everywhere. Fucking and they've they have they've just got some such like Brazilian like Brazilian like content like it, it's just so di like so different. Uh, American, yeah. like I haven't really. Americans are pretty cool with the memes, and then yeah, the, the UK, like I think the UK are just low key followers of memes. I think oh yeah, I've only I've only ever met. Well, I I actually I know two admins from the UK: the admin of Cool Doggo Club and the admin of Amphetamine, hmm. and. Hmm. The rest, the rest of the other admins that I know are American, Australian, like Canadian. Those are two very good pages, and uh, I didn't know they were from yeah, the, the yeah. UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm my... mean, um, yeah, the admins from England and that's that's cool. Yeah, and Cool Doggo Club. I, I'm, uh, I'm not yeah. sure if the, the person that I know is the main admin, but she was a she was a like a an editor or a mod or something. Yeah, I love Cool Doggo Club. Yeah, it's a good page. It's a good page. Uh, my my favorite page as a British admin too. Uh, Which page he, is it? Uh, special meme fresh. Special memes. Yeah, special meme fresh. You know. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good page. That's a good it's, page. For me, in my opinion, it's the best. I, I think. I mean. For mine, like. There Yours is, a is lot really good. There, there is a lot of good pages at the moment, and a lot of bad pages. But for me, like for me, it has got to be like LSD meme emulator. Yeah, this one is really, really good that, too. That uh, page, uh, that page has been consistently good. Yeah. For like two, three years, and yeah, the, the admin's Australian as well. I think hmm. he's Australian. He's pretty cool. Okay. He's a cool guy. But that that page, Internet by Night, was another good page as well. Oh yeah, it's oh yeah. Sad. The main page got. I think the main page got banned, um, which is sad. I rarely go on Facebook anymore, so yeah. I, I don't. I don't really know. I try to find, uh, like, if the pages have other accounts on Tumblr or Instagram. Or, yeah, you know, yeah. And uh, it's because Facebook has become. Me. With uh, with all the latest updates and and all the the shit that's happening, Facebook has become really annoying to navigate, at least for me. So I, I don't use it anymore. I just use it for the page, and that's it. Yeah. I don't I don't browse anymore. And I found a, a bunch of uh, my favorite pages on um, well Tumblr and Instagram. So uh, I, I I hope I'm not uh, missing too much cool shit. Yeah. I, I there's a lot of shift towards Instagram at the moment. Um, a yeah. lot of pages are going there. Yeah. And I, I feel, I feel like the big, like the big Instagram pages earn quite good money as well. I think. Oh yeah, probably. Like better, better than Facebook. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but there, there really is, some, there is some big ones. It's hard. I, I found, because virtual has got an instagram and mm -hmm. it's only it's only on about ten thousand, i think uh, that's it's, good for you it is it's pretty pretty hard to grow uh yeah uh w w you have to know how the algorithm works actually and it depends on how many pictures you're posting because if you post not enough you're not uh, really promoted and if you post too much you're like throttled 
and uh, it's like uh, if you like spam Instagram with lots of pictures, they pull your reach down because they think, well, that you're a spammer. Yeah. So uh, uh, I found that the sweet spot is three pictures a day. Three pictures. So, yeah, it seems like a low number and it can be kind of frustrating, but I've I've sticked to it and uh, I've been um, I've started Instagram like really recently and uh, yeah, you're, I'm, I, uh, what, I'm is the Instagram name the same as your page name? Uh yeah, I mean it's just exploding fish shit busting, but uh, um I'm I'm going to I'm going to follow you and uh, What like what what ex- like what made exploding you fish choose shit. exploding fish shit posting? Uh, right, as the me, name. Oh, I fu- found yeah. F- just followed you. Um, it was it was um, because of a mobile game called Candy Crush, very <laughs> popular game. Yeah. I'm sure you've played it. And um, for some reason, I was really into that game at the time. I mean, I guess it was a, it was a good pastime and. Uh, Every time I had a, a bit of free time, I, I played some Candy Crush. Um, I <clears throat> there was a, a bunch of different reasons, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a funny pastime. And also, I was playing like with my girlfriend. We, we were trying to uh, reach uh, uh, some levels as fast as possible, yeah. and we were kind of we were kind of racing, you know. And uh, so uh, after a while, uh, the game became quite old but there was a sequel that was published that was called uh, Candy Crush Soda and it was like well into the lifetime of Candy Crush already but yeah. I, I was kind of hooked on the game so I decided to give a try to the sequel and um, well the sequel is even better than uh, Candy Crush because it removes all the, um, the flaws and uh, it adds some cool shit and uh, um, basically you have some like power-ups yeah. in the game and uh, one is the classic um, exploding uh, candy which is uh, the classic from the first Candy Crush and there was this new power-up uh, which is a jelly fish which is so a, that's a where the fish, name comes from. fish made of jelly and of course as you probably know in Candy Crush you can combine the power-ups yeah. and uh, so you can combine the exploding candy with the jellyfish to make an exploding fish yeah. and for some reason, this this stuck with me. You know, I was playing that game. Uh, I was all the time playing that game, like on the toilet, and uh, <laughs> yeah, on the toilet. It's that standard, yeah, it's, isn't it, for them games? It's yeah. I mean, it's the ideal setting to play Candy Crush, and uh, and yeah, for some reason, I I, uh, I kept like repeating to me like, oh, exploding fish, exploding fish. I need to make some exploding fish, and. I don't know, the, the concept was, like, weird and funny, so it stuck with me, and, um... Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> I kept, and uh, I kept saying it all the time for, for some reason, like, I, I found the concept hilarious, I was thinking about, like, fish that were exploding <laughs> because of yeah. this game, and, uh, I, I thought at the time, oh, uh, because I, I make a lot of music, so I thought that I should name a, a, a song, Exploding Fish, or, like, maybe even an album, and it was the same time where I created the page. So I, uh, I, when I looked for a name, I was like, oh, but that's perfect. I already have a name yeah. right in my head. So I, I named the page Exploding Fish Memes. Did you did you and, uh, um, make, I think you made your page around the same time I made mine. May 2015. Mine was September 2015. Yeah, I mean, it was 2015. It was the big explosion of Facebook. Yeah, because I, I, I do remember seeing your page in the early days. And I was like, that's, yeah. a, that's a different name. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I, 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 when I created the page, I named it Exploding Fish Memes because they're like, you know, there was all these meme pages and uh, there was a lot of... Um, there was a lot of other pages that had meme yeah. in the name. There was well, the the big ones at the time was cream de la meme and uh, <laughs> I, I orange that, orange that memes. Page, yeah. And uh, what? I I can remember cream de la meme. Yeah, yeah. It was like it was the first big one. They were the the pioneers, and um, yeah, yeah. Cream cream de la meme. Uh, uh, there was yeah, yeah orange memes. Orange memes. And, fucking hell. And yeah. 
th they helped me qu quite a bit uh, when yeah, I was struggling. Didn't, didn't they have like four, three or four pages? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah, yeah. Orange Meme. Fucking they, hell. They all... They always they always had big pages and uh, they shared some of my shit, and when I was uh, kind of stalling and uh, like getting uh, to a plateau and struggling to get more likes, yeah, yeah, and they they helped me quite a bit. I I um I'm very grateful for um how they helped. Yeah, I, and, uh, I, one of, one of, one of the admins was a big fan of my page and uh, it was a really cool guy. Yeah, it's sad that they that they deleted everything. That's what that's what's good about. The meme community, though, is like, if an admin yeah. likes your page, they, they yeah. don't care about sharing it. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, re that's really nice. That, that's, that is what I miss about um, not going on, on Facebook anymore. They, I, 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 uh, it would be fun to, like, share some, some yeah. uh, smaller pages. but I mean, yeah. I've, I've made... I don't know if you've seen my new page, Imi Image Deposit. Um, no, no, not really. But I um, it's only it's only on about 130k. But like that, that's like my my page now where like I'm not gonna push for likes on it. I'm gonna keep yeah. it, you know. Like I'm just gonna. I'm gonna make, make, maybe I might not post on it for two or three days, but if I see some like really cool image, then I'll post on oh, it yeah. and stuff like that. That's a good idea. I tried to do that at some point, but I never, I never had the the discipline, you know. I never had the the, the in me. Uh, it's uh, too. <laughs> yeah. It it uh, it requires too much too much like discipline and. Uh, it, you know. It's. I, I, yeah, it does. It does to an extent. The, the thing. The thing that if I see my post reach with that red arrow like going down, mm -hmm. that always like gives me the push to keep posting because I hate seeing that yeah. red arrow with your yeah. post reach going down. It's so yeah. annoying. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's it, really, do you know that's what I mean? Really it's just so annoying. It's so annoying. You go on your page and it's there and it's like minus 600,000. You're like, fucking hell, like that's so low. Yeah. <laughs> See, so you, you just have to post. See, so you, yeah, you, you do need the discipline for it. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I value spontaneity like really too much. Like I, I've tried, and the more spontaneous I am, the better it is for me, and usually the better my my posts uh, do. Yeah, and so it's it's really I I see some funny shit on Tumblr or Reddit. And I want to post it right now. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to schedule the post or or you know wait to find yeah. the best <laughs> shit. <laughs> like I I get why would you do that? And I and and I understand like the, the strategy and uh, I understand really it's it's a good way to do it. I mean there there's no one best way to do that shit. It, there's exactly. a, a lot of different ways, and we all do it differently. And uh, and there's no like valid or not valid way it's uh i mean if, if you're having fun it's all that matters yeah definitely uh, like and um, yeah especially you know like when you go on tumblr archive so like you see a cool page and yeah like yeah. you you type in slash archive you browse yeah. through it and then yeah, it's... You, you, see, you see one image and you're like wow like if i post that i know how like, i'm gonna get so many like it's gonna do so well and, oh really? Uh, yeah, like sometimes, like you know, you kind of have to have an eye for it. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, oh no, not at all. I'm I don't have an eye for it at all, and I never know if uh, really if an like, image. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. For, I for, not, for me, yeah, like, I envy you. <laughs> yeah, like for, for me, uh, you know, you can find a really cool page, and like, you can see load of like you can see like mediocre images that maybe you'll post it. And you know, it won't do shit, but it won't do great. Do you know what I mean? But then you can see you got that one image that will stick out, and you're like, "Fucking hell!" Like I need to post that right now because I know it's gonna do well. Like I, I posted, a, I posted a picture on Image Deposit, and it was in in the UK at the moment. There's the streetwear fashion, uh, like everyone's wearing these trainers called Nike TN. Like they they cross between like old Air Max and yeah, and yeah. Nike, I, I, 
But yeah, yeah, I remember. And there was this whole thing it, in, the, in the gay community about uh, dudes who like to lick them. Yeah. And there was a, this huge thing. And yeah, I remember. I, I, found, I found a picture. It was, it, it was a picture of those night TNs. And above it was Rash's just bacon. And uh -huh. because, like, the, the color of the night TNs was the same as the bacon. Uh -huh. and I was like, fucking hell, like, I need to post this right now. And I posted it. And like this is when I posted it on Image Deposit, which it's only on about 120k, 130k, and it ended up getting like 10,000 shares, like 10,000 mm. comments. Like I knew, like I knew before I posted it, it would do well. And like I, I, I'd rather pick, I rather pick the, you know, the really, I try and like went so like I try and cater my, my like my sourcing around like posting the like really it, like images that i know are going to do well instead of like mediocre ones do you know, if you know do you know what i mean like like really uh i'm gonna be honest with you uh, that's quite an impressive skill that you have and i i, I to be honest i really don't know yeah um how you do it because i really don't have that skill <laughs> like at all i don't have the yeah the the, the third eye of uh, of meme success yeah well i don't i <laughs> Really, it, when I when it, I when I see uh, extent, when I see some shit to some yeah. extent, you do have it though because you've got two big pages, like you, yeah. But you, what I do is when I find something funny, I post it, and I never know, I never know if it's going to yeah. do well or not. Yeah. And uh, a, a lot of times, I see uh, some some image, and I think, oh, this will work, and it does not work yeah. at all. And yeah. uh, sometimes I post a, a, a small thing that I didn't really look twice at, and it gets huge. And I really, I have zero skill in like yeah. knowing if a thing will work or not. The only rule that I have, the only rule, the only strategy, if you can call it that, is that if I find some shit funny. If I like it, yeah. if I find it like yeah. funny or weird or interesting, if I like it, I post it. Yeah, that's it. I really. I, I, know. I wish. I wish I knew. I wish I knew, but I don't. It, 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 yeah, it's. I never know. It's kind of bad because, for me, like I would, like I find some. Like, I found some shit extremely funny, but, like, it, I see it funny to myself, but like, I I have to. Like I have to know which type of image I'm going to post across my pages. Like, oh yeah, virtual. I, I save for like, you know, cool posting. Important images is more just vague yeah. shit posting. Yeah, cancer. Like, virtual. I kind of try keep it wholesome. Like the good images go on virtual, and like the 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 shite, the stuff that I see shite. With it, but somewhat cool and funny. I put on important images, and. Some sometimes like I've posted posted something like I posted an image on image deposit and it was it was a picture of someone that filled a coke bottle up full of the coke can sweets and mm -hmm. you, you yeah. know like you know the Coca Cola sweet like gummy things yeah yeah, yeah. they filled the bottle of that I... up and poured it into a glass yeah I've seen this picture a few, yeah. few days ago and like, it's, it's I, pretty great I, I thought like I thought that was a fucking awesome image like it's so like I don't know it like is. it's just cool do you know what I mean like yeah it is it's really cool and it's, uh, it's I, like, and it and didn't cool. it didn't do very well which so, sometimes it's hit and miss like I thought that image was like awesome like it, that that's even gone into my great images folder which my my, my great images folder is is like a folder of rare pepes that no one wants to share. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you, yeah. You've got all your best pepes in there, but for me, like <laughs> all my best images that I, that I don't want yeah, to share, yeah. and it didn't do yeah. very well. And it's just the way it I, goes. It's I haven't. I have a USB thumb drive that is just chock full of memes that I've, uh, you know, collected throughout the years. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I've got my my troll science folder. Uh, I got, oh, I I used to order them like by theme and everything, and yeah, like, pfft, I, I, I don't do I anymore. don't order them as such because uh, there's just so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got I've got uh, the the you know the Chad Thundercock, you know stop stop yeah. Chad Thundercock reaching your GF. Like, I've yeah. got a folder full of them, like <laughs> it, the, the stuff like stuff like that. It has to be saved. Like it, ha yeah. it has to be saved. 
Yeah. Play. My, my hard drive is just full of images. It, it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> when I, so sometimes when I try to open a folder, like the Windows Explorer crashes because there are so too many pictures yeah. in the folder. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. So like, I, yeah, I've got one folder with twenty thousand images in it, and like whenever whenever I try and open it, it just crashes my whole computer. And yeah, same. it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, but that that's that that's the life of a meme page admin. So oh yeah, yeah yeah, <laughs> stockpile <laughs> images. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you cannot help it. No, no. I, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. You have to. It's you know what it is. It's kind of this weird thing that your mind does, whether you're like at the countryside or at the beach or you know in a forest or something like that, and you see like a round pebble on the you like you know really well polished and really really round pebble on the on yeah. the ground yeah. you and you have you have to get it and put it in your pocket yeah. you know yeah and you don't know why and it's and but you have to you just have to have it it's it's like you know how people collect vinyl records yeah and like how how people collect football boots we we collect memes and then we have the we have the platforms to share the best ones Oh, you share the best ones? Oh, I share the worst ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so, so, like, sometimes I've shared, like, I've shared some shit ones, but, like, the thing, the thing is when I post, like, like I said, like, I like to post the ones that I know are going to do well, and 80% of the time, I'm right. That's impressive. Yeah. It Somewhat. Like, it's, I don't know, it, it's, I'm not good at anything else, so... Like it, it's a strange, it's a strange thing. So you should make it your job, man. Yeah. Well, it, it's just, it's just a hobby. Like it's, like, like, like I said, like, you know how people have different people have different talents. I, I, I literally don't. My, mine is that I can make pages, big meme pages, and that's pretty much it. I mean, the difference between a hobby and a job is that you're getting paid. Yeah. Apart from that, it's the same thing. <laughs> Literally, yeah, my life is just memes. It's, it's pretty pretty sad, but I enjoy it. Yeah, well, it's better than... It's, um... it, it's fun. Like, it, my, all my mates say, like, all my, all my friends are like, wow, it's like it's pretty cool that you do that. It's, is it the same for you? Or A lot of people see memes as, like, an entity that is really um specific but for me it's just a part of the big uh comedy and entertainment family you know yeah i don't i laugh at a funny meme about the same way as i laugh about a funny tv show or or movie yeah. or fu funny yeah. funny book and uh, so um, what I like is like laughing and, and funny shit and, and comedy and, and, and entertainment. And so uh, I don't see myself as a really uh, person who is like dependent on memes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, what I'm dependent on is two things, laughter and uh, so society, I mean, like, you know, sharing stuff with other people. And memes are the per perfect vector uh, for that. Yeah. But, you know, they're not the be-all, end-all of the thing. There's, I mean, it's, it's exactly like, um, like someone who likes to go on vacation... Uh, on the other side of the world mm -hmm. like to discover to discover new cultures and and new foods and new landscapes and all that you wouldn't say that he's a fan of planes he just he has to take the plane to get to the destination yeah yeah and i see uh, the the way i see memes and shit posting is the same thing it's uh it's a vessel it's a vector to it's, get the uh, laughs you know to get the laughs yeah. and to to share with your community and uh, to exchange with people and to have fun and it, it's uh you know i i think i i think shit posting like if it's done right it is very very funny like i used yeah. to on on virtual i used to have so like i'd be sat at my computer maybe i'd have like two or three spare hours and I would I'd post a status saying like right for the next three hours I'm gonna shit post, and literally like 
for every minute for three hours, I would post a new image. And yeah. it was pretty funny. It was, pre- it was yeah. pretty fun. That happens to me once in a while. It's, uh, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a good way to uh, to kill time. Yeah. And, uh... But I, I mean, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done it in a while, to be honest. Yeah, well, will the will the the new algorithms uh, your posts get buried if you do that now? Yeah, like, I mean, not everywhere, but it's it's still viable on Tumblr. Tumblr, right? Yeah, you can you can cheat post as much as you want there. There, there's no throttling or anything. But you know, on Facebook or Instagram, if you post too much, they'll be like, "Whoa, yeah, uh, this this person posts a lot. We better hide their posts, or it will spam." people's timelines which makes sense i found some annoying that facebook does and like when i so when i post on important images yeah. um i like to post the the group's url in yeah you know off the pages post and i found that when i post the group's url the page reach is significantly lower oh yeah but i'm only at, like i'm posting off my page and i'm advertising my group and for some reason facebook just makes that significant significantly lower and it it's very annoying yeah 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 that's that's weird but uh they do that yeah i, I don't know why I, I don't know why yeah because you're linking to to facebook yeah it's... i i used to think that it was like uh, to keep people on facebook and to avoid uh people like leaving the site to go elsewhere yeah. that's why that's why they throttle youtube links so hard and they try to push like facebook video and shit yeah I, I've noticed that they do throttle YouTube stuff. It's, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a lot. Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's it's really bad. But, um, yeah, they they do it even for Facebook links now. That's so weird. Jesus. I've noticed, you know, sometimes when you post a GIF from Tumblr, sometimes it won't, it won't just post the GIF. It'll post the Tumblr link of the GIF. Yep. And so, like, when you click on it, it'll go to Tumblr, and, and I find like that throttles a lot as well. Yep. It's very annoying. Yeah. 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 Facebook is not perfect. It has lots of qualities and and advantages, but it's far from perfect. It's got yeah. Lots of flaws too. Unfortunately, we have to make do with what we've got with Facebook. Well, yeah. I mean, of course we have. There's not a. There's no network that is perfect. That that's why I'm on every network at once yeah. and I'm shit shit posting everywhere is because Tumblr is great for for sharing like fast a uh, lots of images every day and it's shit for like communication and building yeah. an audience or a community uh, um, Twitter Twitter is good for like uh, reaching people who, who would never reach your posts uh, usually, but you don't really build a, a a community on there, and building an audience is is possible, but the interactions are like different, and uh, yeah. you know it's, every site has its its advantages. Facebook is great uh, to to build a, a community from the ground up. They do, yeah. But they have like we said, you, like, you can like, do anything with it after. So like we said yeah. earlier, they do make it very like very easy, like very easy to make. You know to make big pages yeah 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 which is what i found like there's a there's a lot of pages now like like i said earlier as well that are just posting like screen caps from fucking videos that were funny as fuck like six years ago <laughs> but now now they aren't and it's like with the troll physics like that shit was funny as hell in 2009 it's still funny now yeah but you, you post it and people, you know, people are like, 2009 fag, kill yourself. Well... Like, you I, get, I get comments like that, so I just don't post shit. And, like, all these pages just picking up from trends that were funny, like, ages ago. And I, I just don't find them funny. I don't I don't look too much at the at the comments, especially the negative ones. Yeah. I mean, I... It, it used to affect me in, in the beginning... But now I'm just I don't I don't give a shit anymore, and um, yeah, it's it's the best way to be. I found especially I've, I mean especially if the post is doing well. I mean, yeah, if the post has like uh, ten likes and all the comments are negative, I know I've messed up. 
But if, if yeah. the post has lots of likes and there's like a lot of inflammatory comments, but uh, you know, if it's uh, you know, it depends. I I don't get phased. I don't get um, put down by just comments alone. Yeah, yeah. And also, I found that a lot of lot of time, uh, people who comment are people who are not subscribed to the page, who are, who come from like suggestions and shit. So it's not it's not even your audience who gets uh, it's it's some it's some randos, and uh, Fa Facebook, Facebook does a good job at filtering negative comments. I found as well, and you know, like when you post something, um, like I posted, I think it was October two thousand seventeen. I posted an image, and it got sixty million post reach. Yeah, and like. It, it got an insane amount of traffic and mm -hmm. I, I was looking at it very closely and I found that Facebook, you know, like when people see it and they tag their friends, yeah, Facebook was hiding like a lot of those comments and it was hiding a lot of the negative comments and showing like the most liked ones. Yeah. Yeah. They, like, do, they do that a lot now. Yeah. It's filtering system is good, uh, but it is also really annoying good. as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it's weird, and the 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 annoying thing is that you can do nothing about it. Like I wish I I would have some control over it, because I know that uh, yeah, what what gets hidden, sometimes so I know that it, sometimes it fails. Um, I I know that it hides uh, nudity, but it goes kind of overboard. Like a guy in a tank top sometimes will get you know uh, blocked from the view because it shows too much skin and also what gets uh, <laughs> yeah. what gets throttled a lot is um, you know because you have to set an uh, official language when you uh, when you make yeah. your page you have to choose a language and po and uh, comments written in other languages get gets hidden too can you can you remember that, that image of the duck with the flame on its head. Oh yeah, yeah. Why, like, why the fuck does that get censored? Like, I don't know. why? I don't it's know. It's fucked. Yeah. It it just gets like you you click on it. It says that this this image contains graphic and yeah, all like yeah, gore became, content and it then it became a fucking it's huge a, memes. I, I, it yeah, a huge it's a meme. fucking flame. But like, I saw I saw one someone someone. Like so, they got that image, put it on Photoshop. They'd edited the flame off the head of the duck, and then they'd put uh, the emoji, you know, like the emoji flame. From, like, <laughs> they'd put that on his head, and that was still fucking censored. Yeah, that's uh, some a lot of shit that gets censored on Facebook. I don't get why, and it it, uh, it has always been like that. It's a bit less the case now. But still, it's it's weird. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff gets censored, and I I rarely understand why it's really yeah. weird and kind of nonsensical. And uh, but yeah, yeah, I remember. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I think some 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 dude said it was animal abuse or whatever. But uh, if you look close closely at the picture, you can see that there's a, a fire pit that is like way in the background and behind and, the and, like behind and, the, yeah, the animal and and the goose is uh like on the on the front and it's just uh you know optical illusion it's like a, per, a per yeah. perspective effect like people who uh who go in, in Italy and and do that 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 shit like with the leaning tower of pisa oh yeah that, that, those are fucking well funny like <laughs> you, you know the, the photoshopped ones yeah, the ones with the the ones with the pyramids as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, where, where, someone's got their finger over the top of the pyramid. Yeah, <laughs> like they, those are funny, funny pictures to post. There was a huge one a few years ago. I mean, it was especially big on Tumblr, but it was big pretty much everywhere. Uh, it was the the guy with the awkward face who was doing the with two fingers, like he was a. Uh, Catching the sun between his uh, thumb and index finger. Yeah, I remember that, that. That got memed to death. That was pretty good. Yeah, I remember that. It was like an Indian man, wasn't it, or something? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, that was that was funny. I yeah. I, I remember that. Them uh, them pictures. The 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 photo the photoshopped the photoshopped like 
kind of pitches I always do very well like uh, traffic wise like it's, it's pretty funny yeah well uh, we are getting close to three hours of uh, three recording hours. yeah Jesus. and my uh, recording device only goes up to three hours of audio recording so uh, we're gonna have to wrap it up pretty soon yeah no problem no problem do you do you have to something special you want to say maybe a maybe a question that either you want me to ask you or you want to ask me it's nice to talk about um like the whole uh you know like page admin stuff yeah. um and get it out there because i people pe people they, they don't like i said like, like i did say earlier they don't appreciate that there is sometimes one one person behind such a big page and yeah they don't they don't they just expect memes all the time and it's nice it's nice to be able to talk about that and, and get it out there yeah and, and and also i think it's a cool concept the idea of having a podcast with like page admins like oh, sh 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 like when i when i saw the first one with shit posting bot like shit posting bot has got a huge huge influence over like uh the whole meme community Like every everyone that I've spoke to knows shit posting bot. Yeah. And and it's annoying to see that what well, like shit posting bots on his like third page now. Uh like, yes. Yeah. It's, it's so it's something like that, isn't it? And Facebook Facebook banning like banning a bot. Like Yeah, yeah. yeah. How how bad does that look on Facebook? I I I don't know cuz I think most people really don't give a shit. I, I think it's really a niche thing and uh, uh, I don't think most people realize and uh, and uh, amongst the people who realize I, I don't think a lot of them care yeah uh, it's let's let's not you know let's not forget that it's really a kind of obscure thing but um, shit post bot is is everywhere and yeah. they have a they have a really good uh, Instagram account where where they post the uh, the best uh, boat creations they have yeah. a tweet they have a twitter account which is doing fire i don't use twitter but and uh yeah I, on twitter i i saw that recently well i, I saw that uh, after doing the podcast when i wanted to link to shit post but uh, i i i wonder which link i would use and um i decided to go with uh, the twitter account because yeah. it's kind of like yeah. the universal thing twitter is like the yeah you know, the base page now and uh, i saw that they were followed by uh michael from vsos <laughs> that's pretty big. what yeah yeah really and, yeah he retweeted shit post but a, a couple days ago oh he, yeah y do you uh do you know the page things that are exactly where they're supposed to be oh yeah so yeah that's pretty great the, the guy the guy who made that was one of the admins of virtual um Gianfranco like he's a very uh, you know like I know him know him well he's done a lot for virtual and I I've got an editor role on on that page and I actually I posted uh, I posted an image of my girlfriend's friend and it was of it was a fit, fitting image to the page and actually you know it's, uh, someone sent a message to my girlfriend saying oh that image that John posted on things that are exactly where they're supposed to be was was shown in a Pudi Pie video. Huh. Like yeah, so like we we watched this Pudi Pie video and the video of of my girlfriend's mate was was on it and so Pudi Pie had obviously got got this image off things that are exactly where they're supposed to be. Huh. Like that that was that was crazy. That's pretty funny, and it's it's mad that Vsauce follows shit posting bot on Twitter. That that's pretty that that that's a, a very big accompl accomplishment. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's pretty funny and pretty huge. Yeah, <laughs> that's that that's funny. That, like that's a big that's a big achievement. I don't I don't think anyone famous follows my pages really. So, oh, you never know. Yeah, never know. But you know, a lot of people follow them, but. It's cool to meet people like when you're on nights out. Like it's pretty, it's pretty funny to sit to meet like followers. Yeah, what I what I like to think is that maybe people who are following us now are not famous yet, but they maybe will become. Yeah, 
Exactly. And, uh, that that can be a, a great networking opportunity. Yeah. Or just like having inspired people to uh, be successful, that that would be an enough reward for me. Yeah, I mean, be honest. there is no like if people want to make a page, there is no reason like why you shouldn't do it because f for me personally, like everyone, myself and people that I've seen that have made new pages, they they do make it eventually, and you you have to. You have to unfortunately sit on them. I mean, some weeks you'll get a thousand likes, some weeks you'll get fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. It's you just got to sit on them and wait, and your page will grow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It it just it just takes time, but I mean, uh, you you never you never really know. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. It's kind of unpredictable, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, it is, but it it always works out. Yeah. Especially, especially like important posting. For some reason, like I don't put any effort into that page, and it's at five hundred k. I think it's uh, you don't have to put effort. I mean, there's a uh, this kind of weird myth, like to uh, for work to be good, you have to work hard, and yeah, most of the time it's not true. I mean, uh, yeah, you it's... just have to not care. Yeah, I mean, you have to work smart. People who work hard are people who have no other choice, and it's not something that you should brag about. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's the kind of last resort thing. It's not exactly something you should be proud of. But um, yeah, uh, I guess maybe the spontaneity, because that works really well, and that is really satisfying too. I mean, the reason. Why I do it is that it's more satisfying to me, but it, it works being spontaneous. It really works. And uh, by the way, what I wanted to ask you is, uh, is the um, important uh, posting page related to the uh, important playlist from YouTube? No, um, okay. no, it isn't. And I am actually aware of the important videos playlist yeah. um but i'm not responsible for that at all but you know i i no i just i don't have anything to do with it it's this funny playlist though and i didn't actually i forgot about that as well it's a good question yeah it's uh i remember seeing it uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty good place uh, there's a new one that's uh turning around right now with this uh called uh instant instant regret uh clicking this playlist and uh, it's yeah. not it's not quite as good. There there are too too many too many videos, and most of There's them are not one, really good. Another good one called uh, Web Junk. Hmm. Oh, I a, I haven't seen this one. Yeah, Web Junk. That was another good big playlist. I'm gonna try to find it. I made I made one myself because uh, called uh, what did I call it? Um, funny playlist against depression, something like that. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I, uh, when I'm depressed, I, I watch it, and it always works. It always cheers yeah, me up. Yeah, when you're depressed, you need you need memes. Uh, yeah, I'm, to cheer I'm, you up. I made it public, of course, so other people can enjoy it. Has to it. be done. Yeah, has to be. Web junk, you said. Yeah, have you found it? Um. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that that's a very good playlist. Whoa. There's lots of videos in there. Okay. Yeah, there is a lot. In it. I, I, I personally haven't got all the way through it, but well, if you do, then you're very committed. Uh, yeah, I am very committed to uh, <laughs> watching funny stuff. <laughs> I really am. I really am. Sometimes I spend literally all my day, literally 10 hours per day just watching dumb shit on, on YouTube or, or you know, yeah. um, that that kind of... Yeah, that... you, you should watch... Uh... You should uh, you should watch some of the Jesus chat line uh, raids. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Because I remember none of it. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, because that shit was fucking funny. Like that. I think like, it started. I think it started at the time when I stopped going on 4chan. I stopped yeah, going. On, I yeah, stopped it, going on 4chan. It was like 2012. Uh, yeah, when I think it was around that time. I'm not too sure when it finished, but. Like, well, that anyway, was like the last, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it. 
I'm Sorry? Gonna look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm yeah, definitely going to look it up because you, you, you got me curious. It's very good. Nice. I can't remember when it ended, but uh, the, the, people who, uh, the people who made it were very funny. Like, very funny. And the fact they kept it going for two years, uh, it, <laughs> you just don't see someone committed to trolling that much anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember there was this guy who uh, trolled the telemarketers, um, like tr t the telemarketers called to their uh, to his house, and the guy was like, "Oh, uh, oh, you you just called uh, on a, a murder scene, man, and uh, <laughs> you and the fact and you you are a prime suspect. You cannot hang up. We have a, uh, you have a lot of questions to to ask you, and I think when you go on, you're the man, no dog." classic website and you mm. order the YTMNDs uh, by popularity it's at the top it's number one yeah there's this there. shit and it's it's so good no the uh, yeah the, twi the, the twitch raids and the raids on live streams were were good back in the day yeah 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 yeah, yeah there's always been good stuff and uh <laughs> It's, it's the internet it's there so, cha it changes, doesn't it? Like it's always in cycles. Yeah, very di it's very dynamic. Yeah. The the as um Reese was saying uh, on episode two of the podcast, uh the internet is really, really alive. Yeah. It's like uh, a lot of time we see it like as a tool, like as an inanimate object. But yeah, it's it, it has got a life on it, of, of its own. Definitely. It's kind of like the tides, the tides of the ocean, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's you know. and it's relatively new as well. Yeah. It's relatively new, like the whole meme pages thing is, 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 is new. It'll be interesting to see maybe in 20, 30 years time, how, you know, what the state of it is then. Yeah. Hopefully this fucking e-meme isn't around. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand what you have against it. I, I love it personally. Uh, I I just don't see the the, the humor in it. Like, I, you know, I think I think it's it's one of those memes. That there's no. There's nothing to it. Yeah. Like there is. There's nothing to it. Oh, there so is I, nothing I just, to it. Uh, you that's know why you, I can't yeah. see the, the the humor in it. You know what it reminds me of? What? That boy. That boy. Fuck. It's that hell. boy. Oh yeah. shit! What up? And uh, <laughs> I, 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 I really, that boy really did a great impression on me. Cause yeah, all it. the time when there's a new meme that gets big, it's from something, you know, like damn Daniel who was from a uh, Vine. Or, yeah, uh, fine, and, yeah. Or, uh, you know, uh, the, the I don't know, there's lots of memes that come from Seinfeld or uh, it's always do... it's always sunny in Philadelphia yeah. or Breaking Bad or, you know, it's always a, a lot, um, always a big new meme is from a movie or a TV show or a comic book or something. And that boy was like... I do love the Seinfeld stuff, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, same. And uh, yeah, when when that boy came, it came from nowhere. There's no origin to that meme. I mean, it's just a fucking uh, cartoon frog on a unicycle, and that's that that made it really special to me because yeah. it it made it stands out uh, in the crowd of memes that are just like my name is Jeff, which is from <laughs> my that. Name Jeff. I love yeah. I love my name Jeff, but yeah, this one is from a movie, and uh, you know, uh, and there's a lot of. <laughs> for for me, I love the uh, like screen caps from like uh, like GTA San Andreas. Yeah, I saw I saw one um, there. It, if you remember playing it, there was a blind guy, and CJ is yeah, yeah. CJ sat in a room with this blind guy, and he says, "You're not going to believe this, but you have to see it." <laughs> and it it's just shit like that. Like yeah, yeah. All Stuff you have like to that. do is follow the damn train. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, with the the big smoke, that's the big smoke one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff like that. Oh, yeah. that. That was good. That was uh, good. Yeah. 
No, I think it's CJ2. I think the big smoke one is with the... Uh, I, I will take a number nine, number 23 with fries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. That was it. The GTA San Andreas was a great game. Yeah. I, personally, I, I preferred Vice City, but San Andreas was really good. Vice City, I posted... There's, I've actually posted quite a lot of aesthetic shit from Vice City. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, with the, you know, the... The Miami Beach shit and the the pixelated yeah. palm trees. I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, Vice City was a very good game. Yeah, but yeah, San Andreas was really great too. Yeah, that was my favorite era of GTA. Yeah, yeah. It's see, I I was I was speaking to my uncle yesterday and uh, I was telling him how much uh, GTA has changed like in the past ten years because he he remembers like Liberty City and Vice mm -hmm. City. Now you got GTA Five, which is completely different. Yeah. Well, it's time to go now, but yeah. um, it was it was really cool. We talked um, not about a lot of subjects, but uh, memes and social networks. I mean, it's what we're all about. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if you wanna if you wanna come back on another episode, I mean, yeah, like I'll, it's always it's always possible. It's always open for for you. I'll de I'll definitely yeah. I'll try I'll try and think of some topics to to talk about and bring. A yeah, but dynamic to the you know how I am. Podcast. If it's spontaneous, it's always best in my opinion. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, um, I, I mean, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very satisfied uh, about how this turned out. It's been, it's been cool. It's been a good experience. It has for me as well. Uh, that's that was episode four of Mohit Talk, the worst podcast on the internet. With my special guest, the admin of Virtual Experiences. And um, what is, what's the other one? Visual Treats. That's and funny. Important and Images yeah. and Image Deposit. Ooh. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, by the way, um, what, what name do I, do I, do I put in? Uh, I, uh, virtual Experiences is like your main thing. Yeah, yeah, Virtual is the main. Okay, perfect. So, um, see you really soon for another episode. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye.